I was about to say, I've been live with you before, but that was your sister, huh? You didn't live with her. I was on the actual channel. Yeah. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm packing that. How is she? Is she good? Um, what's going on? Oh, she's going to graduate. High school? College. Oh, I was about to say. I knew, uh -uh. No, I knew she was like older, but I don't even know why that just looked on her. <laughs> I know she's hacking this time. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm used to. Let me actually. Shit. Hi, y'all. It's dope ass panda in the daytime. That's rare. This is my client Kimaye. Hi. I used to coach her, but now she's grown. <laughs> um. That's exciting. She still lives with y'all, right? Yeah, that's why I'm a big part of her to graduate. <laughs> oh, you trying to get her out the house? Yeah. Why? Y'all share a room or something? Yes, that's my whole, oh, that's, that's that's my right. whole reason. Damn, you can't even do that then. That's just, mm -mm. yeah, no. It would be too much. <laughs> yeah, and she's not like, she's not like one of the specific, like, she'll tell on you. And if you, once you beg her not to tell on you or she don't tell on you. What she, you be doing to get told on? Mad. Like, just like, stuff like, if. I'm not in trouble, and well, I just had. Oh, like if you're phone. not supposed to be on your phone or something. Yeah, but now I got two phones, so my old phone. Now she got two phones. Phone. Uh, one on Wi-Fi. Yep, and she she be. Now she has one she, under your pillow. Yes. I'm about to tell. If she agree with me being like in trouble, she be like, "What well, gonna tell mom?" I'm like, girl, what? <laughs> Who does that? Yeah, I can't hate a snitching. Like we supposed to be on the same team. No, not okay. you snitching on me, but not you hiding a phone under your pillow. Thanks for giving me the tea. Because when I have a kid, <laughs> yeah, you tried it. Be you tried it. I'm going to be all under the pillow. I think everybody had their phone under there and they just like cut off like the ring. But you just have like a, you have like an old phone, right? It only works on Wi-Fi or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just using it. But then when I got this new one now, I, it's kind of like an iPod. Oh, okay. You just use it for music? Yeah, because it's like sharp it's all cut and stuff and then don't got it it's case. cracked or something cracked in the back and in the front oh damn and the camera broke <laughs> girl get get your life together that's how you know that's what you be heck of dropping it <laughs> yes i dropped that phone so many times i actually cracked the back like the first week i had it dang so yeah what's up with y'all today we're just doing some simple straight bags she was supposed to get a cute hairstyle but her homecoming got canceled so I feel like every school's home, homecoming out here got canceled because yeah. it's raining in California and the homecomings have to be outside because of COVID, right? <laughs> well, this is what my cousin was telling me because she goes to Clayton Valley and she said they canceled it because like you can only have like 80 people in the gym at a time or something like that because of COVID. Yeah. And so the homecoming has to be outside and obviously it's like wet and raining. Mm -hmm. Put your head up, so... So, yeah, she just getting some regular straight backs. You ever had these before? No. Because I was, like, insecure about my forehead. But, like, honestly, I really don't care no more. You know? Period. I stopped, like, I don't know. I cared about it in middle school. But, like, recently, no, I really don't care. <laughs> right. Girl, I have had been stopped caring about that. I, like, be forgetting sometimes that my forehead is big until somebody <laughs> says something. And then I'm like, damn, it yeah, is hella big. You don't know? mind it, yes. Like, people, like, still, like say stuff like my friends would be like oh we talking about oh your forehead big whatever but that don't like bother me because it's not a, that big of a deal you know yeah but like oh my god elementary somebody told me my forehead was big i'd be ready to go home oh <laughs> oh and my forehead was even bigger back then <laughs> it's like now you grew into it yeah so it was just like a big head big forehead and a skinny body dang <laughs> like the cartoon characters no for real that was me too actually yeah, when you skinnier, it makes it pop out more. It's like, but oh. Yeah, and then, like, how my mom used to brush my hair to the back. like. And no Damn, with no hairs. baby hairs. <laughs> you know, she'd be old school. she be just. That's hella funny. I don't want her to, like, everybody else. She'd be like, girl, your hair gonna fall out after you do that. And it didn't fall out. Do what? Like, baby hairs. She uh, was just saying that because she didn't feel like doing it. Right, she didn't know how to do it, so she, girl, your hair gonna fall out, girl, you just don't know how to do it, speak. They said that braid crispy. Thanks, y'all. You said, hey, Panna, hey, Panna, where's Brie? Brie is in her skin. I did her hair the other day, but it was too late, y'all, I couldn't go live. It was like 
one at night. But I'm going to do some box braids on her soon. Unless she cut her hair or something. Y'all know she be switching her. She be changing her mind. Heck of quick. Yeah, I think she be so. dying her hair and stuff. Yeah, she be dying it. Change it, girl. She'll ask me to do something on Monday, and by Tuesday, it's cut off or something. So, that's why I'm like, we'll see. I want to dye my hair. What color? You want a skunk stripe? No. Let me t- when I tell you, every girl in my school got that. Bruh, everybody asked me for that. That's why I said that. Uh-uh. I want, like, just, like, the tips of my hair dyed. Maybe, like, a lighter brown or maybe, like, a red or blue. Ooh. You gonna let me do it? Or yeah. you got somebody? No, I'm gonna go to you. Oh, for sure, <laughs> Period. My mom like, maybe, let me see what these grades look like. What they got to do with my hair? <laughs> because if that's a, that's a, uh, it got everything to do. What's it called? That's a, uh, what's it called? Like a reward. Them grades ain't looking right. You ain't getting no, co- I used to hate that though. So now. She said, what they got to do with my hair? <laughs> I'm done like, with you. Second quarter just started like yesterday. So. You be getting good grades? I haven't got. Well, I used to get good grades, like eighth grade, but in high school, no. They just What's average. like not a good grade for you? Like you be getting like C's? A C and lower is not a good grade. I haven't failed any classes, but actually I'm still taking freshman PE because I failed my freshman PE. How online, do you fail PE? And I failed it online. Everybody could see Yeah, no, nah, you ain't getting no color. <laughs> you need to get focused. Like because if it's PE, have you ever like had in person PE and you gotta do essays and stuff online? What? That's what I'm saying. We walk with her every morning. We be walking the track and stuff. She make us track a mile, submit it online. We take quizzes. We do essays and all that. Essays so, on what? Like physical education and volleyball and all that. And it's like, girl, if I'm here every day walking this track with you, why do I need to do all that? Like if I walk the track and was just there every day. I will still have like a D. Why would you say walk the track? It sound like something else. <laughs> oh. Not walk the blade. Wait. So it's because PE is like physical education and like the activities, mm-hmm. right? Like yeah. both combined. Yeah. I remember that. Like sometimes you have classwork and sometimes you like doing. But see, it wasn't like that for me. Like in eighth grade, like I thought they just doing the online thing because of Corona. And then when I get here, we still online. Like for what? So, what type of, like, why can't you, why, are you not turning in the essays on time? I didn't know it was quizzes on Wednesday. For one, I didn't sign into the online so class till so, late September. So, you're not paying attention? Yeah. And I wasn't, like, probably, like, because, what, we come, it's four days out of the week, the class is, because on Wednesday we go at 930. So, I'd, like, four days out of the week, I'd probably go, like, three or two. Because it's just too early. Like, Mm-mm-mm. I cannot wake myself up because I just sit on my bed and then go back to sleep. Oh, because you did this online. Yeah. And then, like, Mm-mm-mm. my mom be waking me up on that. Like, uh, <laughs> that's why it's going the first period today. Well, tomorrow. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Well, I wish my kid would fail PE. You'll be. <laughs> You'll have your side shaved. I'm going to have to punish my kid with hair. <laughs> what? With hair. You remember there was like a phase where um, parents was like shaving their kids bald. Yeah, they like when they was getting bald. in trouble. <laughs> like he don't know how to act in school. That's hella messed and up. And get bro. a bad haircut. And get a guy to go to school with no hat on. <laughs> Bruh. You remember that though? Ooh. Like I feel like for a cool like month, hella parents was doing that. I know. And it was like, like, it's like when they get bad grades, I would not make them bald. But like that one kid was bullying that bald kid for having cancer like that's different but like wait you know, i didn't see that one yeah so it was one she made her daughter go bald and she was already wait her struggling. daughter was bullying a girl who had cancer yep and a girl who had cancer was bald she made her go bald too Damn. like at least you bald because of cancer you bald because your mama made you bald <laughs> damn that's all, yeah that's all the mess up he said finally caught a live hey panda what's up what's up cherry rose <laughs> Your comments be moving so fast. Sometimes I don't know how you be reading them. I don't be reading them all. I just be like skimming, kind of. But usually people be reading it for me, like my clients. Oh, oh let me read. Yeah, I e you get on your job. Nah. <laughs> let me read it. <laughs> get on your job. My head's so big. Girl, no, it's not. You like the new, uh, y'all like the new updated YouTube? I can ask y'all too. With the comments on the side like that? I ain't been on YouTube in a while. This is nice stuff. You like it? Yeah. 
It's kind of cool, huh? Because you could, like, read it. Yeah, remember how it used to be on the screen? Yeah. And then it'd be, like, blocking stuff. I mean, you can still see because they, like, see through. You know what I'm trying to say, but, yeah. So, y'all, today, I'm actually using my edge control to braid her hair because I just wanted to see, like, what it would look like. Because I feel like, you know, when it dries, it'd be, like, so stiff and not in, like... Sometimes when I be using products, my stitch braids still be like wavy right here. So I just wanted to see if it would work hecka good. So yeah. That's what we doing today. I like it on this side. Oh, you like it on the side? Yeah. <laughs> That's my easiest way to go too. Yeah, I like it on the side too. It's kind of cool. It's just like a different look. And then you can see everything. Is it hecka weird seeing yourself? Yeah. If somebody said I don't like it like this. Somebody said... They feel like it take too much up with the screen. Yeah, sometimes I'll be feeling like that too. But that's only if I'm trying to watch something in detail. Like if I need to be up close. It's like, bro, get this off my screen. Yeah. Actually, no, nah, I kind of like it on the screen. You can't even do that no more though, huh? No. Dang. Because as soon as I put it sideways, it just shot that to the side. You know what I really hate? What? When apps change stuff that we didn't complain about. Like, nobody complained about it being on the screen. I don't know. So why, like, you know, <laughs> like. like somebody writing them reviews. Sometimes them updates be, uh-uh. No, like, you, did you get the new iPhone update where the uh, search bar in Safari is at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Like, nobody asked for that. I know. It's like, uh, uh I didn't update my XR to iOS 15, but when I got this phone, it was already on iOS 15, so. That's you got the 13? Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. I got the well, I got the Pro Max, though. See, I don't got that big one. I just got the pink Let me feel it. Let me hold it in my hand. Oh, yeah, this is hecka small. Yeah. You got the cinematic mode, though, uh -huh. for your camera? Mm-hmm. You got oh, it for it's, lit. it's hella raw, huh? I know. I feel like I could shoot a movie. And no, for real. When I was a little kid, I've been wanting to make a movie on my phone since I was little, but I had an Android. <laughs> what kind of movie you wanted to make? I don't know. My parents used to be watching ghetto reality shows, like a movie with fighting and all that. I'm <laughs> hella done. Not a ghetto reality show. I just, uh-uh. <laughs> well, technically, that's what YouTube is. You can make whatever you want. <laughs> For On God, though. I want to make a TV show. That's but I didn't want to stream it on one. Ain't nobody going to pay to watch my TV show, though. <laughs> you know, like how Black China and them had days and shows where you got to pay. Yeah. Why am I paying to watch a TV show if I pay cable? Yeah, that's like a funny. Well, that's because their shows were on uh, the Zeus app. It's like, it's not on TV. Yeah. Well, it's on TV now, though, but I feel like it wasn't. Like that video with her and her mom that went viral when they were arguing and fighting. It was just like so ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but I heard about it, though. About to go get the 13 now. Yeah, she do that. I just heard her mama was like a toxic. Yeah, I I rock with the she 13. She's toxic too, though. Like, she crazy. Did you see her yelling at a fan on the shade room? Recently? <laughs> yes. I haven't been on um, social media. Really. She was yelling at them. About what? For no, like, they didn't even come up to her crazy or nothing like that. They were just like, oh my God, how are you? It was like, this black child. And I was like, hi. And they was talking to her. And they asked for a picture. And she was like, is you vaccinated? And started cussing them out because they wasn't vaccinated. <laughs> Oh, because they tried to, like, come up to her? You can hold this down if it's pulling. Yeah, the, they were right just there. talking, though. Like, it wasn't even... Mind you, they had on a mask. <laughs> oh, but she, like, was kind of doing She just went the off in the airport, like, in front of a whole bunch of people for no reason. They didn't all, like, come up to her crazy or none of that. She was just... Aww. I, I mean, I get if if somebody was like all up in your face, I get you on your personal true. space, like, bruh, back up. But I feel like I would be nice to people, but... Sometimes I do try to give celebrities the benefit of a doubt because, like, just picture trying to do regular everyday stuff and people constantly, yeah. you know, like, you don't never so get like, no space or nothing. Because, like, Brie, you're kind of like a celebrity, actually. I'm not, like, actually. Well, you got, like, a big fan base, you know? And, like, I don't know. Yeah, but I'm not, like, a, like, yeah, I know what you're saying, but, like, yeah. Yeah. You know? I feel like if I was a celebrity, it would be hard for me to tell people no, but at the same time, it was, just like, hecka annoying. Yeah. Because you can't I feel like it would be hard for me to tell people no. They'd be taking pictures of them, eating and all that. <laughs> like, no, but, like, okay, think of this. Like, in the beginning, it'll probably be hard for you to tell people no, but after a while, you'll probably be like, bruh, like, just back up, you know? Yeah, it's these girls outside of Justin Bieber's house. Do what? Was, they was, like, outside screaming and stuff like that. He was like, this is my home. <laughs> 
Like, I felt, felt so bad. Thing. How did they even find out where he lived? That's what I'm saying. How did they know where he lived? It was like an apartment. I don't know if he was just staying there, but it was like. Oh, it could have been like an Airbnb. Dang, they all outside just. But they house. see that's like a different. That's like a different type of fans. Like I feel like though some fans are like cool, and some are like oh my god, like the ones who be crying and fainting. You be seeing them. <laughs> Yes. No, like when they be going to like uh, see people in concert and they be fainting, like what the? F- I pay too much money to, f- to mess miss around the and concert faint <laughs> and faint. That's how people used to be for Michael Jackson. If you ever like watch his old concerts, Michael Jackson is like. Or people amazing. probably do that for Beyonce. Oh my I'm god! Not about to faint. <laughs> yeah, not. Or they be, like or it. even when they be like so excited that they crying, it's just like, come on, sis. Yes, yeah, so or when they when they meet them and they can't breathe or talk. Like, <laughs> child, what? They said you were Chris Brown, too. Oh, oh yeah, Chris Brown. Didn't somebody break in Chris Brown's house? Or wait. Was that Chris Brown? Is somebody... Was it Chris Brown? I don't know. I think Chris Brown got his house broken into, like, twice. And they said he don't got good security. <laughs> I will fire him every time. Security or, like, a security system? A good security system? Probably security? I don't know. Because after the first time they break in my house, I'm updating my system and getting better security. Period. I would cry if I saw Jennifer Hudson in person. Oh my God, was Jennifer Hudson in a movie? I know the name, but I do not know. This is the product I'm using, (laughs) y'all. Period. Jennifer Hudson. I don't think I would cry. There's nobody I would like cry for. I'm trying to think who I would cry for. I feel like I would definitely be really excited to meet certain people, but cry? Like. I don't know that because I'm not like a happy crier. Like you know how some people when they get hella happy they cry. Yeah. Oh, that's not me. Uh-oh. I just be like I be like doing weird stuff like this. Like that. <laughs> I be like. <laughs> oh my god. That's probably worse. I probably should just cry, but it's like <laughs> you know, like I just be feeling like I gotta yell. Like I be like yeah, boy, hella loud or something. Yeah. But I don't be like crying. <laughs> no. You like. Breathe. Crack at it, but no, for real. I would cry for the wrestler Jay Uso. Ooh, I used to watch wrestling when I was little. I did too, but I don't know who Jay Uso is. Big twin brothers, the Usos. Let me tell you though, like we was big wrestling fans. My brother went to like two matches. One with my granny, one with my dad. I was into it, but I never wanted to go to a match because I'm really like wow. But I haven't watched it since I was like nine. Mm-hmm. I was watching wrestling the other day. I'm like, this is so fake. fake. Yes, bruh. <laughs> yes. So, so I used stupid. to get hella mad when I was a kid because my dad used to be like, this is fake. Like, how do you hit somebody with a chair and he's not even <laughs> bleeding? It's not fake. And I used to be like, it's not <laughs> fake. I used to hella, like, scream at him. I'm like, there. I'm like, so why is it making noise? And then it's like, as you get older and you watch it, Brad, you could just hella tell. And it's it, hella. I felt shocked and stuff, like, when they kick out of the pen and all. It's just like too much it's like hella animated but you like you said you're not gonna realize it until you get the older older. you get it's like what i was really watching this taking and then it was what was crazy is it's adults in the stands watching it all cheering and rooting like y'all there y'all can't see (laughs) him stomping the side of him and not his actual body i mean the thing about it is like i feel like it's partially like it's just entertainment it's kind of like youtube like y'all know them pranks be fake but you still watch it it's still funny it's just like you know it's entertainment, but it's just when you get older and you rewatch it, you like, oh hell no, this is fake old. Yes, I like UFC fight now. I don't like girls fights though, like girl UFC. Fights. Oh, but UFC that's hella real though. Yeah, like I like girl street fights, but I like like I do like to watch UFC, but like I be feeling hella sad. Why? Like, <laughs> Cause it's just like, why do you want that for your like? And then you be looking all ugly and beat up. It's mm-hmm. just when you get hella like when they be getting kicked in the face and stuff like. It's, I can't, I just be feeling bad. It's like, I don't know why you would want this. Um, <laughs> like, why do you, because UFC is just like, you really getting like, beat up though. That check probably gonna look real nice though. I'm sure it does, but it's just, like, you don't be feeling like that. Like, I like to watch boxing because it's like, they getting beat up, but it's like different. Like, UFC, you really getting beat up for real. No, for real. I like boxing too. I watched that. Uh, who was that? Wilder and Fury fight. I lost fifty dollars for that. Not you lost fifty dollars. You got a job? No. So you lost your mama fifty dollars? Yes. I clean my dad car once a week for twenty dollars because Christmas coming up and I don't uh, got no money in my bank. I'm hella done. So, 
but I need to raise the price to thirty dollars. This car be so dirty. <laughs> Healy, it's you hustling for me. She said, I'm gonna clean that car, but you go, baby, sir. That's hella funny. She plays an MMA fighter and she is a director as well. I forgot about Holly Berry. Did you see her movie Kidnap? Um, is that the one where the little girl was in the trunk of the car? Little boy, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm oh. talking about a little girl. No, I think mine's is this one's called The Call. Oh, yes, I like that movie, right? The Call, yeah. Wait, what, what What did you say it was called? This movie is called Kidnap. It's more recent, like 2018. Oh, yeah, no. I'm just seeing it in the theaters. So I've been having a hard time. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. This edge control go crazy for these stitches. These no, stitches is really hidden. Nice. No, it's really hidden. These I like it because this heck is sticky. Oh, adjust the focus. Hold on. My screen, my camera's probably dirty. Hold on. All the same movies, lol. Oh, is that better? It looks better. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my camera. I probably be touching it. So, can you fix the screen? Is better. Okay. Yes, it looks okay. better. Um. What were we talking about? Oh, you were talking about the call, the stranger, yes. the kidnap. So I said Holly Berry make all the same movie. <laughs> no, bro, I be kind of hating that. It's like, bro, get a different movie. There's heck of movies like that where the kid get taken and the parents be turning into like super cops <laughs> and finding them like none of them are realistic. But my favorite one is uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's called Taken. Taken. I, it's yeah, where I, the two girls go to. I think they went to Europe for a vacation. And they ended up getting, like, uh, sex trafficked. And it's multiple of them, right? It's only, it's two of them. That's what, yeah. I'm and then the dad flies out there. Because my granny, that's her favorite movie, Taken and Taken 2. Yes, I love <laughs> Taken. Yeah, this. I like the, I like number one the best, but I like them all, but number one is my favorite. They say yes, with Liam Neeson. That's the yep. name? Yep, he got canceled for a minute. But. Why? He, like, made a comment where he was, like, basically saying if a black person, like, oh I can't remember God, what happened, racist. but he was, like, something racist about, like, if a black dude did something. I, I can't remember, but he was, uh, he was definitely canceled. So, like the live. You like the live. Yeah, like the live. Like, when people come in, like it. Oh, yeah, it's, like, a, it's 239 people watching, so only 60 likes. Oh, it's like 113 likes over here. Uh-uh. Y'all do y'all playing us. Like the live. Watching us. Before we get off of here and watch our show. What's our show? What we be watching? We be watching Messy Mondays. Uh. <laughs> and that other guy who's funny. Oh, uh, who be talking in the funny voices? Uh -huh. Martin Lewis. Yeah, y'all gotta see the break in with Gabrielle Union. I seen that. Who's seen the new Halloween kills? That movie was horrible. What was it? Michael Myers. I'm not gonna spoil uh, it for the people who didn't see it, but it was not good. Uh, is it like the final is it the final one honestly or? if they could they could continue making them okay that's what you gotta say no spoilers 2018 one was good though you like scary movies I love scary movies paranormal killer all of it I love it damn I gotta watch out for you <laughs> the way you just excitedly named that <laughs> look don't get on her bad side I wanted to uh, get a Chucky doll because like I used to love the Chucky series you I wanted the actual doll yes when I was a baby oh yeah you're sick <laughs> every time I seen it I would beg for it coming to Spencer's and my mama like no you ain't getting that doll in my house <laughs> and I was like oh granny can I bring it to your house and my granny said no so I guess I just gotta get it when I move out it's that's fake though I don't know nah, I wouldn't trust it I'm that's like just... mama they actually possessed the doll and guess what that's not even real like, the Annabelle doll, the real one, my mom had one of those as a kid. And my grandma didn't say, hey, throw it out. Why well, can't get Chuck? It's like, you tell Tammy Gabby. Hey. Messed up her foot the one who messed up her foot because it's two of us that's been on here. Okay. Wrong Turn was a good movie. Ask her if she's Wrong a Scorpio. Turn. Are you a Scorpio? Are you a Scorpio? Do you mind? Me? Mm-hmm. What's that sign? I'm a Leo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have, have you watched, watched series? Oh my god, it's good. It's a it's movies or a show? It's a show. Oh. With the actual Chucky? Yes. Doll? Yes, mm -hmm. and this boy that was bullying his him and making fun of when his dad died in front of him and he ain't do nothing. What are they talking about? Or is that the movie? On the series. Uh, just, uh -uh. So he used the Chucky doll to like get back at them or something? No, nah, Chucky being his friend. Um, but 
I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know because like on the movies, Chucky always trying to get in somebody's body. He ain't even trying to get in his boy body. He just there. Mm -hmm. You guys finished watching you on Netflix. I watched episode one of season one and never finished. What? <laughs> I watched the first season of you and I watched a little bit of the second season. But I mean, it's a good show to me, but it's not good enough to like keep my attention. I don't know mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And like his thoughts just be so crazy. I'm like, it's just like, it's good to me, but that's not my type of movie. My my favorite Netflix series so far has probably been clickbait. Have you uh, watched Outer Banks? I was watching it the other day with, with my client, but no. like Not like from beginning to end. But I've never like watched good. it, but I've heard it's good. Um, it's sad. Netflix been coming out with some heat, and I'm irritated because I feel like during quarantine, it wasn't nothing on there. I know. Now but now they're like... All this when we out. Right. Now you <laughs> want to start putting all the, the, the heat on there. And Squid Games. I watched one episode of that with my brother. I, I feel like I already know the plot. It's just people going to keep getting killed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks kind of interesting, though. I'm on my first season of you. It's just okay. Yeah, well, it's not like... It's good, but it's not like, you know, it's not like, oh, my God, I got to. Some some series on Netflix, like, I can't stop. It's like, I got to keep going. It don't matter what time of night. It's like, I got to see it. You can hold this if it's pulling, okay? Did y'all watch Manifest? I ain't never watched that, but it sounded good. I watched, like, the first season of that. That got boring to me, too. It's really hard to keep my attention, I feel like, on TV shows. Yeah. But I watched, like, I got to, like, episode maybe seven of the first season, and it was pretty, it was good. I watched Shameless and Sex Education. My sister loves Shameless. I'm not giving it a chance because I feel like it's too many seasons and too many episodes. Is that I'm the one done, with the drunk dad? Yeah. When I'm done, I'm going to want more, and they just ended it for good. And Sex Education, I watched that. It was cool. Um, you just said it was heck of seasons. You know what I'd be watching, though, oh, on no, Netflix? Shameless is heck of seasons. What you know what you I watch on Netflix that, like... I always, like, stop it and start over from the beginning. What? Grey's Anatomy. Oh, my God. I've never watched that show. It's like, some people say it's, like, heck good, but then you catch those people, they're like, oh, it's garbage. So, I don't know. What? <laughs> yes, my friend. If you like yeah. hospital shows, it's heck of good. I did hear a lot of people say, um, Squared Games. What is that? Squid Games? He might have meant Squid Games. Yeah. I was like, Squared? Somebody said something about making Why well, not you? You be typing too fast. Love Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is like OG. I feel like we've watched that before, Kimaya. Criminal Minds? You watched Criminal Minds? Or no? Is it on like cable or like Netflix? Or? It's on Netflix, but it's on cable too. I thought it comes on regular TV. Season 4, All American is back Monday. I remember I watched All American at your house. Do y'all watch 911? That's the show. BMF. My mama watched that. BMF is Big Meech, right? I, I, I don't even know, honestly. I just be hearing how that ooh BMF came on. I gotta watch it. Mm -hmm. The Wilds on Prime TV. <sighs> so what's up with y'all? What day of the week is it? Is it Thursday? It's a Friday. Oh, it's Friday. It feel like a Thursday. It does. Why I don't know. My week been too short. It's Friday. Me and my son love that show. I used to think Shamar Moore was my father for no reason when I was little. <laughs> not your, not your daddy <laughs> <What>? though. <laughs> Why would you randomly think he was your dad? That's hella funny. That's your father. Not you used to think he was your father. That's funny. That's hella funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why would I first see the word Shamar? You know who Shamar Marco is? Nuh uh. Who's that? Oh my god, the boy with scoliosis. What the hell? How am I supposed to do? <laughs> That's hella random. The no, boy with scoliosis. Was he, he on TikTok? He's like famous for that. He be all twerking and stuff like like he's like, Wait, is that the white boy? No, he black. Uh, he be fighting and all that. What? Y'all know who Shamar is? Somebody said, hello, I know him. Yes, Brie. <laughs> Google Shamar Marco. Wait, what, is he on, what is he famous on though? Like TikTok? Like TikTok and Instagram. He was, they was like, oh, do you prefer light skin to dark skin? He was like, I'll scrimate. They was like, what? He's like, I don't discriminate. <laughs> and he was like, y'all, this design. And they was like, what? He was like, this design you. Somebody said, what is lasagna? Uh uh, he a mess. Shamar. Wait, so he so he got scoliosis and his speech impediment or something? Uh, or he like, just be honestly, funny. no, he's like um 
he's kind of like special needs and it sucks. His oh, mom just. Oh, so you laughing at a special no, needs <laughs> kid? He not, no, he. When I tell you, he be cussing little kids out on his live. Like some little kid got in his live. They was like, "Where Larry at?" He start calling him b words and all that because he said Larry mind his business all that. Like he wanted. Who to is know. Larry? His boyfriend who quote unquote gave him something. What the hell? Y'all be too invested in me. Shamar is the one that said, you in my business? Don't do that. Oh, that's him? That's Roland Ray. Somebody said, the one who said, she not a girl. That's Miss Toddler. That's Roland Ray. The one you in my business? Wait. Um, Roland Ray is about to be on uh, Zeus Network. Oh my God, why? <laughs> There's this thing on there called The Conversation, and he's going on there with Bobby Lights. I don't know if y'all know who Bobby Lights is. Trina from, Cousin. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, that's not Shamar. Yeah, girl. No, he not special needs. He just messy. No, he is messy. He was like, <laughs> he said no, he not special needs. He just messy. <laughs> he was like, that's why somebody shot at Joe. Some he was bringing up somebody getting shot. I don't know who got shot, but somebody got shot. So he just goes live and like makes TikToks, basically. Yeah, like twerking and uh, the grinding and all of that. Done. And he be trying to be all. You gonna have to send stuff. him to me. <laughs> it's like y'all follow you on TikTok. Me? Yeah. I don't know. I gotta follow you. But like you be posting on there, or you just be watching? I post. I just posted like the other day once since like September. Uh, what you you be dancing? Oh no, I don't dance. Uh, what you do? <laughs> I don't know. Like you know the TikToks like. I uh, like reenacting. Yeah, or like a I've done a few reenacting TikToks, and then some of them were just like. I don't know. I don't know. I just just being like, cute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How do you like? He made a music video. Oh my god! Yes. Roland Ray still give me hot wheels. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My braid is, Y'all see that? I have to redo it because I can't. That's going to mess up my whole style. Y'all see that little piece of hair? <sighs> no, Kimai. You just don't want me to redo this braid. She's talking about it look good. Right, right. <laughs> Did your hair grow even if you didn't trim it in five months? I wouldn't know. Redo it? Does it say it again? Does your hair grow even if you didn't trim it in five months? Um, well, basically what happens when you're not getting a trim is if your ends are split, then your split ends will basically just travel upward. So your ends will be breaking. Like if y'all ever notice, like you'll be like you'll you'll be like, My hair is growing, like you'll see new growth and stuff in your braids. You're like, My hair is growing but it stays the same length. Like it um, you know, it could be because you have split ends, so I'm not going to say that it can't grow even, but it could also not grow even because your hair is breaking at the ends. And it's like hair doesn't break. Hair is not like, oh, the left side broke, so let me break a little bit. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Rolling Ray and Santana beef was so funny. You know that song, Walk? That was a diss to Rolling Ray. You know, for the longest time, I did not know that. I thought, <laughs> like, let me see you walk. It's just like, like walk like a catwalk. Yeah, that's what, no. And I, then somebody told me, like, about the beef, and I was like, what? And he told Young Miami to dig his de- dig her dead baby daddy up, and then the next day, that's when he caught Rolling on Ray fire. Did? Yes, that's when he caught on fire, and she said, God know how to work, something like that on Twitter. And he had third degree burns and he couldn't put himself out. And, bruh, and then when he was in the hospital, he was still talking <laughs> shit. I was like, bruh. He a Virgo. That's one thing he gonna do till he die is talk mess. And now he got a new boyfriend and all that. But he's still on divorce court with his ex that he was on there the first time when he was broke with that hot Cheeto hair. Bruh. But he just, I was like, how are you still talking mess and you're burnt, sir? <laughs> third degree burns. I'm hot. <laughs> per- per- oh my god yes he just be hella funny to me because of his accent like when he talks and like pronounces stuff it's just like so funny but honestly like i don't know how you could honestly say stuff like that and like not feel like that like why would you say that to somebody (laughs) yeah like that's rude dig your dead baby daddy grave up like those are severe fighting words and he came fired young miami said all i gotta do is punch you in your face and run away (laughs) And then he threatened her with something else. Said yes, because I always wonder why my hair don't grow for real. Yes, us Virgos hold grudges till death do us part. LOL. Child, I got a Virgo best friend. I know. <laughs> period, period, per, period. Yeah, Virgos be petty with it too. <laughs> yes, it's just, uh uh-uh. uh. LOL. Yeah. That's <laughs> disrespectful talking about walk. I know, but Roman you know the most disrespectful part about it is that the song was a hit and like everybody was dancing to it. And it's a diss on you. Like imagine how he felt. 
But he seemed like he don't care. He seemed like the type to not care. He probably don't, honestly. He strikes me as the type of person, like, as long as he's relevant <laughs> and people are thinking or talking about him, like, he don't care. And he you know? around in that chair trying to get all this attention. And he showed us behind the scenes of one of his videos because he'd be rolling around talking mess, stroking his weed. And he rolled, <laughs> he rolled off the the curb the sidewalk he cuts his friend out because he got it on video <laughs> he fell or something nah he just rolled off and his hit, wheelchair hit the ground kind of hard <laughs> the mm-hmm. last time I saw is santana messy or he just like got into a real rolling ray he just got into a rolling ray because rolling ray talk about everybody but never talk about himself mm-hmm. uh-uh the last time i got here trip in may i have my eye afro looks like a goo but my ends are still split yeah Rolling made a video to the song. So clean up. How many cans is in here? Oh, they said Santana is very messy. LOL, but he's so funny. Dang. No, I wouldn't put it past him. I'm not going to lie. I hope I don't get canceled for saying this, but I feel like all gay dudes be hella messy. I thought like, that when you it be like in a it be like in a funny type of way. Like, it be hella funny, but when you think about it, it's like y'all all always like in some mess. But I ain't gonna lie, they're the best friends to have because they be hella. I just feel like they're hella funnier. They are. Like gay anything they like, say or do, it's just be it's hella funny, funny when they come from a gay guy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Somebody said, I'll be laughing if Roller Ray and Shamar fight. Oh my God. Who's Shamar? Oh, the the dude. boy, let me tell you, though, Brie, he fought this big black guy who was biting him. <laughs> he, On camera? <laughs> yes. Shamar got in a what? boxing ring. With his braids and all that. It was fighting the big black dude again. Shamar do too much. How do y'all be finding these people? <laughs> My mama best friend be watching these people. It's so funny. And you be like, who is that? And then, yes. Hold on, I gotta turn you to the front. Because I gotta see what this part looks like. Smiley, smiley. <laughs> Look up for me. Okay, perfect. I tried to double check that part. Y'all, I finally made it to a live. What's okay. stopping? We chilling today. And I like you. Right, what? How come I never went live with you? I don't know. We just never went live because we be watching stuff on your iPad. Yeah, that's true. Shamar got to lean to the side body. Why somebody be calling him water bottle? You know when you have That's drink of water nice. bottle. That's not nice. Y'all going, no. Y'all going straight there. I'm not even going to laugh at that. Because that's bad <laughs> karma. He can't help that. He got scoliosis. But why he talk about everybody that? else? He going to say to this one girl. She like 11 on the line. And she like, don't play with me. Play with your effing mother. She going to say, she dead. And he going to say, well, so what? And my sister was like, I would have told him, you can't play with yours. Because his mama dead too. Like, why would you say that? He probably broke hell? his back while he walked like that. Panda A lion. L O L. Uh uh-uh. uh. See, I really don't be trying to pick with Shamar because sometimes people do be like bullying him, but he take out his anger not on the people who bully him, on the people that be trying to be nice to him. Like you'll go in there and say something nice and he get smart with you and you like, dang. Yeah, like, Shamar, you a good today. I know. Like- <laughs> what the hell? So he just I don't be get a thank you. Let me tell you, Bri, I actually got a live with him twice. Both times he asked me off the like live. Like on your face? Yes. All I said was, I said, where let where Tommy at? Tommy minding his business. I said, well, why you got to be so Who rude about Tommy? it? Another boy he messed with. I said, why you got to be so rude about it? And then he asked off the live, talking about how people be playing with him and he don't care. But yet he goes on a 10 minute rant about it. He blocked me from his other Instagram, but it's okay because he got a new one. Oh, so, so. you be so you be bullying him? <laughs> no, I don't I'm bully hearing. him. He blocked me after I got on live that one time, and he went off on me. And I was in the comments arguing back with him. <laughs> oh my god! What is this on Instagram? Yes, he probably. Been in. Oh my god! Yes, I've seen that fight. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna good. have to look this dude up now because I'm like, who is this? <laughs> oh my god! You know that? No, nah, you wouldn't know. I don't know. It's like, because it ain't a noise. It's a secret. I don't know. I'll show you. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, my God. Nachi was on live arguing with him. Yes, and everybody was on there. And I sent it to my auntie, and she got you, on. And you said it was on IG? Yes. Dang, so that means your followers was in there, too. Because you know how, like, it notifies both sides? Yes. <laughs> But I'm telling you, when he kicked me off so fast, that's why it did. He want to keep talking. He like, oh, this B-I-T-C-H in my comments. Yes, I am, Shamor. I already know this is going to be <laughs> cute. <laughs> Hairstyle, I'm sorry, but I will fight Rona right, and I'm Shamor. <laughs> what are you using on the hair lock-in? 
is the I know. I'm actually using my edge control because I just wanted to try it out and see um, how it works. Because a couple people told me they used it to actually style people's hair. And I was like, oh, okay, like, I didn't even think about that. I don't really uh, braid with edge control, y'all. But I'm liking what it's doing. So this might actually have to be my new stitch braid product. Wait, you got a website? Me? Yeah. Uh, my website is actually almost done, but right now I'm selling it on Etsy. Do you know how to do hair, too? Who? <laughs> she said who? No, 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 because you, you doing my hair. So just, you. Um, Maybe she talking about you. I'm practicing knotless on my mom. I'm pretty good at it, but... Really? Feeding braids, I just think my hand's too big, which they not. I got to work on it, but I don't know. I'm practicing. Yeah, she said you. My bad. <laughs> um... And I actually flat ironed my friend's hair before. You actually want to do hair? Mm, no, but like, it's not like I have anything against it. Like, I want to be able to like do my own. like you like it'll be a cool little side. Yeah, because like bit. my sister can't do hair. Like, I want to be able to do my niece's hair and stuff like that, mm. and my daughter's hair. You okay? <sighs> I said I will fight them. <laughs> now you know if you fight them, <laughs> take them. Take the what? next braid out. Your part is crooked. Anyway. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm funny. <laughs> I just be thinking. 310. It's 310 people. How many likes is that? Mm -mm -mm. God. 60 likes still. I think my phone is not refreshing. Because why do it say 60 and it's obviously more than that? Oh, it's, what? That no, it says 172. See, that's what I'm saying. Mine just keeps saying 60. I be doing family now. Mm -hmm. That's good, but you didn't get your money, too. Yeah, I'm going to be at the salon early today. I'm so excited. Is very much straight, but go off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all funny, actually. You what? I'm reading these comments. They funny. Yeah. Turn it. Are you on live chat? Uh, yeah. I was like, you already knew to do that? Yeah. Oh. I'm a future cosmetologist. Ain't that somebody who do hair, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess it. <laughs> Go on. You wanted to wait before you said, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What hairstyles have you did today and how many clients? Today, I did, I only had two clients. Um, I did some Marley twist, some short ones on my cousin, but she's older. Mm -hmm. And then I did some large knotless box braids. And now I'm doing this. Okay, then, period. And Kimaya is my last client, period. Scott. I was supposed to take her later today, but she came early because she understands. <laughs> Y'all doing anything this weekend? It's going to be raining. I know, I'm it's at. raining out here. Is it raining where y'all at? Or what's the weather looking like? It's raining for us. so I checked Honolulu, Hawaii. Why is it 86 degrees? <laughs> Sunny. Why did you check that? That's hella random. I'll be checking random web weather websites and stuff in class when I get bored. And, like, my school low-key got bad reception in certain classes. So, I'll be just on the weather app checking Oklahoma, all that. <laughs> I'm hella dead. That's hella random. You just be wanting to know what it's looking like? Yeah. Sunny in Alabama. No, it's not raining. I've never been down south. Ever? ever. I've, I've never, never been, been on, on a plane. plane. Nope. <laughs> I was like, we had this conversation. Yep, never been on a plane. I love your hair. No, no. So That's most crazy. people, it's not raining. It didn't rain today at school. It rained in the morning. Clear and sunny in North Carolina. No Damn, rain. Not in... clear and sunny. Ooh, I cannot read that one. No rain in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. Oh, Tuscaloosa. It rained in Georgia yesterday night. Raining here in Virginia. 86 is cold. I feel Hawaii. like in the South, don't y'all be always getting rain, but it's like still warm? My sister said when she went to Atlanta for her college trip, it was raining, but it was warm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to get video. I've been on a plane. I'll get the window seat. Uh-uh. I'm scared of heights. If I look out and it's too high, I might just freak out. Why? Why? Wait, are you scared to get on a plane? Or you just haven't been on one? I'm scared to get on one. But why? I just haven't been on one. I don't know. Mm. It's hot in New Orleans. Oh, my God. I want to go to New Orleans. I bet you they got the best soul food. Oh, yeah. The food in New Orleans <laughs> be hitting. I've been. Hitting. That's a different type of. It's rainy. Yeah, my braids are so hot in El Paso, Texas. 
Oh my God, Texas always seems hot. Yeehaw. Megan is, I be forgetting Megan Stein from Texas. I only recently stopped forgetting because Megan she got be. a Louisiana hot uh, sauce. For, uh, oh my god, I don't Can't like see. Y'all had that? Popeye. <laughs> I seen it yesterday in the live. Y'all was talking about it, but I didn't see what y'all said about it. Was it good? You had it? I haven't had it. Is that Popeye's? Yep. What's the meal? Is it just like regular chicken with her sauce or something? I don't know. I think she just got a sauce. Mm. It's 50 and cold in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, like in the middle of the United States, huh? <laughs> Somewhere around there. Wisconsin? It's, yeah. Girl. I couldn't tell you. It's so fun to be on a plane. Oh my god! And it's it not. Like I don't like little it. baby snacks. They do some. Uh -uh. Some airplanes will give you full on food. Like Hawaiian Airlines, if you go to Hawaii, it'd be hella nasty. But they be giving you food though. It's nighttime for me. Lol. I'm afraid of heights too. Yes, the hottie sauce. I don't mind being on an airplane. I just hate turbulence. It's just... It's probably like, scary. If you ever on an airplane and you start to think about, like, the fact that you really hella high and, like, you could die, then you, like, start... Oh, my God. Like, sometimes I'll be thinking about that. Like, I'll be like, damn, I'm really in the sky right now. Like, you don't be doing that when you're on the airplane and then you feel a bump and you be like, yeah, yeah, I'm on my way out. Like, you don't be thinking that? See, I'm not really, like... I am scared of heights, but I'm actually more scared of going on a boat and being in the ocean to be in an airplane because I know ain't nothing in the air but birds. You don't know what's in that water. What do you mean nothing in the air but birds? It's the fact that you can fall <laughs> out the sky. I want to go, uh, you know, even though I'm scared of heights, I want to jump out of a plane. Oh, sis. Uh -uh. Just with my eyes closed, somebody just push you should me. Try, you should try indoor skydiving first. Somebody just push you. <laughs> but well, I already you got my mess around and have a heart attack. Ready. You gonna mess around and have a heart attack. There's the Megan the Stallion meal at Popeye's. Hotty sauce is already on the chicken sandwich with nuggets. Oh, I wish airlines would give out seafood and soul food. They're gonna be cheap. <laughs> you know they ain't doing that. Your ticket gonna be a million dollars. You need a Ritz Carlton airplane. <laughs> Hold your head down. Is your head down? Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Now nah, I watch my weather every day. <laughs> Somebody said I hate boats. Exactly. I've never been on a um, cruise. I've been on like a boat before, but not like a big cruise, like a Titanic or something. I want to do mm. one of those, mm. like a Caribbean. My type friend cruise. went on a Disney cruise. I remember going on cruises every year. I'm like, mm -mm. you ain't feeling it. Yeah, it says no I drown. Is what you can't saying. drown. You can't. Uh, I can't say drown. You can't drown. You can't swim, huh? Yeah. I can swim, so I ain't really tripping. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm a floater. I can't really swim. A floater? That ain't gonna do nothing, <laughs> sis. <laughs> you right with that water, <laughs> sis. The Cali time is dead. Not in the, not in the open, like in a pool, which you just going to float out in the middle of the sea. You're dead, sis. <laughs> it's going to be cold, too. Actually, if you get stranded in the middle of the sea, you dead, period. Like, yeah, it's not like you can come swim up and eat you. unless you're close to an island. It's not like you you can't keep swimming, bruh. Nah. And Titanic used to be my favorite movie. You're going to get a cramp. It's on, uh, it's on, uh. Netflix. I know. I'm mm -hmm. so happy. I got to watch it tonight. You just Girl, I watched movie. it three times. That's like my movie. It's too sad, though. Uh -uh. I watched it on one client, and then when my next client came in, I was like, you want to watch Titanic? I watched it two times in a row. She That's was like, oh, my God. I was like, girl, I haven't seen it in heck long. I was lying. I just wanted to watch it again. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I would ever get tired of that movie. Me either. Like That or, like, Love and Basketball. Like, you know what? I do not like the end because you going to play basketball for his heart, and he trying hard. Obviously, he don't want to be with you. It's but then he said, double or nothing. That was romantic. Are you serious? I mean, it was. It was. I don't know. I just wonder why she waited till he was engaged and all that to tell him. Because sometimes you can't control love. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God. And then at the end... Where's your heart? You, you're an evil Leo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to say that. Why do I get that so often, though? I don't know. Like, I'm just messing hey, with you. Love and basketball is my favorite movie. What's your favorite protective styles? Mine's is knotless. Knotless? You cannot go wrong with knotless. That's like my favorite. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Seriously. And then everybody hit me with the ooh, Kima, you always wearing braids at school. But it's like, it be girls coming to school with lifting lace fronts and bad weaves and all that. Like, I don't want to take that chance where I think I'm cute. <laughs> and everybody at the school, like, ooh, her hair is bad. So why not? When you go with braids, you don't got to worry about seeing no lace. She said, I don't want to take that chance. <laughs> this one girl, uh-uh. No, it really be like that. Like, they be thinking they look hecking cute. 
Like they probably be like, oh, it's just a little messed up today, but it's like, no, sis. Girl, it's bad. Like your whole cap is peeled this back. This one girl in my school, she's been wearing a lace since the first day of school. You know, I ain't making fun of that, but you know how I look. It's like, she like my color, and it's probably a little bit lighter than you in mm -hmm. the middle, like the middle part. I just hate when they be orange. Ooh. It's like, sis. It said, where are you buying your curling iron from? My curling iron. Mm -hmm. Buy your curling iron from Bobby Live. When you was on Bobby Live, where'd you buy that curling iron? Yeah. Uh, I had two of them. Uh, I'm trying to think what curling iron. I didn't curl Bobby's hair. I don't know what they're talking about. So I'm confused. What curling iron? What about the I use this. I use this one for her edges. If you're talking about this one. If you're talking about this Ooh. one. And this one came with my flat iron. Like, I had bought my flat iron, and um, it was like a promo. Like, it came with a mini one. So, that's how I got it. I'm not going to put it right down the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do the small ones on the side. Only because your hair is not hella thick. Ooh. So, you don't normally put a roll of box braids in the back when you do straight backs? I've never heard of that. When I do small ones, I do, but the bigger ones, no. If I'm doing, like, if I were to do probably like 10 or more then that's when i would put it back there but for these big ones no i don't they said do you tie a knot at the end of your braids no i don't when i braid my braids i just literally braid them like down to the end like till there's barely anything left and they usually don't unravel like yeah mine if you braid it down far enough yours never unravel right mm -mm. yeah it's not gonna unravel some people be like "Ooh, girl why you just don't put a lighter at the tip or they'd be like, why you just don't knot it and set it on fire? Don't, when you put the lighter, it'd be like hard. Yeah, I mean, you could lightly do it, but if you, yeah. I know what you're talking about. When they, you can see the little pointy part. Yeah. Yeah. I never wear a lace wig, makeup, none of that. Oh my God, my homecoming was coming. My mom made me a makeup appointment. I'm like, I'm not wearing no makeup. Why? I do not like makeup. Anything by my eyes, I be blinking hard. Like, makeup looks good. It's just, I be uncomfortable in it. You know what? What's heck of funny is when I was like your age and I went to a uh, winter ball. You know how they be having winter ball for mm -hmm. all the schools out here? Mm -hmm. um, my mom made me put on makeup and I was hella mad. I wiped it off. I was like, I don't want that. <laughs> and now that I'm older and I look back at the pictures, it's like, oh, hell no. Like, where's my makeup? Because all I had on was like eyelashes with nothing else on my face. Like, it just oh. was looking a mess. And my mom was like, I told you. Because she just tried to put like a little foundation on. Mm -hmm. And she was like, just trust me. I'm like, bruh, I don't want all that. And now that I look back, I'm like, I looked a hot mess, bruh. Like, like my, my mom's not a makeup girl per se neither. But, like, she wore makeup at her proms and stuff. Yeah. My prom, I definitely wore makeup. But it's like, I know what you mean. It's like, you're not used to seeing, like, all of that on yourself. So, oh, yeah. it's like, you know. I want to go to school for cosmetology. Is it hard? Um... You know, like actually learning how to do it is definitely not hard, but I feel like getting through school is hard because there's like a lot of drama. Like you have to really be self-motivated and know how to stay focused. Um, and sometimes it's really intimidating because you're working on actual clients and they be complaining or like, you know, every style you do is not going to turn out right because you're doing a lot of cutting and coloring. Mm -hmm. But if you really enjoy doing hair, it's really not hard, you know. They keep asking how to become a member. A member of what? Oh, of the channel. Um, so to become a member, I gotta unplug y'all for a second. To become a member, if you go to my channel, you'll see like the tabs at the top. It'll say membership and you can join that way. Or sometimes down by the comment section, there'll be like a little, oh no, there's not. I'm looking at hers. Um, but I think you might have to be on a desktop to do it because the app is, like, not compatible or something like that with iPhones. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Or if you go to... If you check the description section, I put a link to join the membership too. You could do it through there. 
But like I said, I think it might you might have to do it on a computer. I know back in the day you, you did, but. That's why I like this style, because it be quick. Hello from Cali. Okay. You're not tender headed, huh? Mm mm. Like, do I ever be hurting you? Like, you be like, ooh, she be very tight. No, nobody, honestly, nobody, even people that they say are like heavy handed and stuff, I'm not tender headed. It never hurts when people do my hair. Dang. Not a good look. And you know, mamas, they just be rough. <laughs> My sister. Why do it feel like your, like, not your mama, but I'm saying mamas in general. Like, why does it always feel like your mama is, like, the worst? No, it they, they are when it comes to doing hair. Like, my sister, when she was, like, maybe 12, 13, she cried every time my mom would, like, be combing her hair and stuff. Other people, she did not do all that. She I be feeling like mama's, mama. like, do y'all just not care? Like, why do y'all do that? I use the dope collection in your new air control today, and it works wonders. Love it. Oh, thank yeah. you. Can I like her braids? Thank you. Y'all, I really like... Ah! I'm so excited about my edge control. I really actually heck of love it. Where do you buy it from? I really took my time. Um, I have a link for it in my description section. I have an Etsy shop. Um, Or you can get it in person. Oh or gosh. I'm li literally trying to launch my website on Sunday, y'all. That was Ooh. really a journey. I ended up having to build it myself, but I'm almost done. I just was having like issues with my IP address and stuff, so mm -hmm. um, not my IP address, my um, domain name and stuff. So I'm trying to get that fixed. But we almost there. They said it ships fast. Yeah, it does, y'all. That's China. She does like all my shipping and stuff. So y'all gotta tell her like China, you on your, you on your job, sis. <laughs> you remember China? Mm-hmm. I remember, like, it was a, I don't know, but I remember she was helping me with my tumbling. And mm -hmm. I, like, fell on my arm. I was crying for no reason. <laughs> like, and she, her arms are there to help me. I stepped outside of the arms. <laughs> like, I don't I'm know what I was doing. Um, she better show out. Did you hate tumbling? Mm, I mean, no, not really. I didn't really hate tumbling. Mm. Like, this cheer I'm doing now, oh, my God, I hate football cheer. I'm more of a dance cheer girl. Yeah. I used to hate high school cheer because the games and stuff. Like, I wish we could just cheer for basketball. Like, they got us outside. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Look at the ribbon. She's on here. Is that yeah. where China's in there? Mm -hmm. China, um, where has she been? She's been working, shit. Honestly, y'all, I've been really tucked away kind of working. Like, I'm the type of person, like, when I have something I'm working on, I, like, am super focused on that. So, this past week, I've just been really focused on that and, um, like, getting my website built. And I had to do a lot of stuff. Like, y'all know I have a whole collection of um, products that I'm dropping. So, like, I've been doing a lot of work with that. Um, and I had to do some just behind-the-scenes business work. So... We haven't had a chance, had an opportunity to really link up like that. Somebody said they think you should make a vlog channel. That would be cool. Um, I kind of have a vlog channel a little bit, but... I'll be trying to record vlogs. Like, the other day I recorded, I was like, come to the salon with me because I had hella clients and, like, it was just a stressful day. But it's like, throughout the course of the day, I'm like, I'm tired of doing this. And then I just stopped vlogging and then my vlog is not done, you know? They said so she's hella funny. <laughs> what she do? I don't know. They said they watched a live with her and they said she's funny. Uh, China's hella funny. They said your edge control came just in time, so they won't be looking like Chucky on their birthday tomorrow. <laughs> that heck of a day. Uh uh. Ooh, how you doing your hair for your birthday? Just ordered your edge control. You gotta get you a birthday slay. Huh. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm getting packaging and stuff and. I just have a lot going on in my life, but it's cool. Today is like an early day for me. Once I'm done with her, I'm done for the day. Because okay, sometimes you be like braiding hair late. I know. I remember one time you finished my hair like maybe like 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. And I know it was late because I was like, oh, give me one stop. That was the only thing that was open. <laughs> Scorpio season. Show this. Oh my God. It's Scorpio season? uh what's today yeah now it is i feel like after virgos i stopped paying attention i'm sorry 
don't be like that. I just Y'all crazy. go Virgo, Sagittarius, but I forget this Libra, Scorpio, and then Sagittarius. Well, now I remember, because my baby cousin is a Scorpio, but before that, I did not remember that. You only be remembering because, you know, a birthday around that time? Yes, like, <laughs> his birthday is November 15th. That's the only reason I do remember. I finally caught you on live. Oh, my God. Y'all ain't been live in a minute. For real. Yes, Scorpio season. I wonder, like, I don't know. I'm just so happy not to have my birthday in a cold time. Like, when your birthday is in a cold season, like, the activities, like, what are you, like, I mean, you can do stuff, but I just like going swimming and stuff. Yeah, you more you like more. Huh? In the summer, you can do like anything. <clears throat> I loved my birthday because my birthday is always during spring break, so literally everybody was like always free to do whatever. Anything, yeah. It's the best. In elementary, I used to wish my birthday was during school, so my parents could bring cupcakes and pizza. <laughs> like <everybody else laughs> no, for real. Uh, but now I'm like, ooh, I'm so happy my birthday is not during school. But me. when you a kid, you want that attention, and then your parents bring a cupcake. Yes, and then you had them cupcakes to go home. Yes, mm-hmm. right. and then you get the first cupcake. Hey, <laughs> don't touch my shit. Oh my god, you just rubbing memories. I was so happy every time it was my best friend's birthday in September, and I used to get the second cupcake, and I used to help him pass out the napkins. <laughs> Not a helper. You to oh. be a helper. So give yourself a pat on the back for that edge control. It lays the wool hair down, baby. Baby. Y'all, I'm really happy because, like, honestly, it took me a minute. It took me a minute. So long that I was like, I don't even need to drop no products. Like, I've been on YouTube for heck of long. But since it was going to be, like, my first product, I had to make sure it was, like, legit. Because I feel like if I would have dropped some bullshit, when I drop my next thing, y'all going to be like, I'm not fucking with it. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Keep by I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah, it do. My bad. <laughs> like, you know, like, if I sold you something and you was like, it was, it's like, last time she said that this was good and it wasn't that good. Then I wouldn't want to it. Then, like, the thing. next one, you're going to be like, she talked about it's good. Like, you know. And it ain't right. Yeah. So, okay. like, obviously, I'm not going to be able to please everybody, but. But, yeah. Everybody in the comments is saying it's good, so that's good. No, that's birthday good. is 1231. Ooh, New Year's Eve. I mean, that's probably kind of boring when you a kid. I don't know. But as an adult, like, New Year's Eve, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, that's lit. My birthday in the winter. Would you be heck of mad if your birthday was on Christmas Day? Oh, my God. I feel bad for all my friends whose birthday is on holidays. Because, you like... You got, like, a friend like that? I got two friends' birthday on Christmas. My Damn. other friend's birthday on Halloween. And then I got another friend. His birthday every so many years is on Thanksgiving. You know what makes it worse, too, about the fact that um it's on Christmas is, like... Like, you can't do a party because everybody with their families are traveling. And then it's like, you probably get shaded on presents. I feel like your birthday gets overshadowed when your birthday is on, like, Christmas. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just, like, out of all the And days, then it's like, on your birthday, everybody posting their best outfits. Like, nobody even looking, checking for you, sis. And my grandpa's birthday on Christmas. You know what I mean, though? Like, you know how you pop out on your birthday? Yeah. It's like, you can't pop out on Christmas because everybody popping out on they Christmas. They come to the house, Merry Christmas, y'all. You forgot to tell me happy birthday, girl. <laughs> Do you think the edge control will hold 4A, 4D? I actually just literally recorded a video yesterday on type 4 here. So, yes. Like, you will see it. Um, I did some... I did... Actually, I did two feeding braids on... Um, y'all know my clients in Madra. That's the one who I did the live on before. My sister know her. Or the ponytail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I literally just used it on her, her edges. And it held really, really well. So... My birthday is 420. Okay. If your birthday is after September, you're screwed. <laughs> My children's birthdays are like a couple of days around the holiday. Hold Aries, your head down. Aries gang. Aries okay. gang. Somebody said my birthday 18 11. I'm guessing they mean August 11. Mine's is 4 14, August 30. Okay. What's, that's a, um, my Aries. I feel like I never met nobody whose birthday was. Oh, because Thanksgiving is not a specific day. That's yeah, why. that's what I'm saying. Every so many years, my friend's birthday on Thanksgiving. Yeah. It was in 2019. Because it, isn't it like the third Sunday or something? Like, I mean, the, the third Thursday? I think it's the fourth Thursday. Because it'd be like 25th, 27th, you know? So oh, like okay. It'd be like late. Yeah. I know it was one of those. Eleven twenty Scorpio. January 1st, New Year's. Damn. That's kind of that's kind of like... I, got a, I, I know one of my um, best friends... From when I was a kid, her birthday was on 
I'm trying to think if it was on the 31st or the 1st. I think it was on the 1st. You think that's a little overshadowed too, like a New Year's birthday? I feel like a little bit, but like, that's kind of tight. Because it's like, your birthday is on the 1st. Like, you know? Like, it'd be like January 2nd. They'd be like, how old is you? It'd be like 13. They'd be like, you turned 14 this year? Like, no. I already turned 13, if that makes sense. Yeah, like you, <laughs> like every new year, that's your age. Yeah. So 2021, you 21. Yep. Like, if you... Wait, never mind. That don't make no sense what I just said. <laughs> wait, um, never mind. Okay, look. If you born you in know, January 1st, 2000, you're 21 this year. You're going to be yeah. 22 as soon as next year hit. I know too many Scorps born on Halloween. You I knew what I was trying to say, yeah. but... What are y'all for Halloween? I got this Michael Myers shirt with Jamie Lee Curtis on it. It's cute. Tiffany on here. Tiffany Dang, I didn't even know t- the Halloween was next weekend. What should I be? I'm hella sad, bruh. I always wait till the last minute and then my costumes can't get here in time and then I gotta make some shit up. I'll be hating that when you gotta do like a homemade outfit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the leap year kids, like February 29th. I really feel bad for them. I dated somebody whose birthday was like that. In really? Mm-hmm. Did they celebrate it on March 1st on the other year or something? No, they ce- celebrated on the 27th or whatever it was. Yeah, that's crazy. Y'all just broke my ring like. <laughs> my mom's birthday is January 1st. Mm. Yeah. I know lots of leap year babies. Was I born on a leap year? Is your birthday in February? Who? You. No. It's so how would you be born on a leap year? I mean, was I born like the years where February uh, uh, 29? Yeah, yeah. My mm-hmm. husband's birthday, 11, 19. Scorpio. Scorpio. Wait, you being Michael Myers for Halloween, but you just said the movie was trash. Oh, no, I'm not being him. I just got a shirt with him and Jamie Lee Curtis on it. The original Halloween, 1978. Oh, that's like a random <laughs> no, I went to Spencer's the other day. I love that store. Hey, Spencer's? Yeah. I got a, um... Maybe I could still get a Halloween costume off Fashion Nova. Actually, no. I don't like Halloween costumes that be, like, trying to be cute. Like, I want to really be something. I know. Everybody dressed, like, naked Like, you know, when they like, a bunny costume. or a kitty. And they're like, how are we supposed to know that other than the ears? <laughs> no, for real. Like, I'm trying to be, like... Everybody likes the whole idea of, like, Halloween parties and stuff like that. Like, I will want to go to a Halloween party, but I like trick-or-treating and, like, wearing an actual costume. Yeah, I want to go trick-or-treating. But uh, this year, I'm, I think I'm going uh, to just wear that shirt because I'm going to be at a Fright Fest in L.A. So it's a, I might do, like, a celebrity look-alike photo. Well, somebody said my baby going to be a milk bottle and I'm going to be the cow, LMAO. That's cute. Oh, that's hella cute. Yeah, somebody said. Oh, I wish I had a baby. Oh, I should dress up with me in cash. Oh, he can be like the prisoner and I could be like the police officer. Oh, he gonna have his little orange jumps. <laughs> yes, that would, that would be, be so cute. cute. That's that's a good idea. I'm going to a Halloween parade tomorrow. That's cool. January 19th. I don't even think about that. Oh, well. Fallon? Yeah. You be dressing up with Aiden for Halloween? Huh? You be dressing up with Aiden for Halloween? Uh-huh. Oh, he ain't try- You know what I'm talking about? Like matching? I know. He's too grown now. He, he act like he's a teenager. <laughs> Somebody said Cash is an angry prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm a I'm gonna dress up and match my little Chihuahua. He's gonna be like a he's gonna be an inmate, and I'm gonna be the uh I'm gonna be a police officer. Oh nah. Mine is January first. My kids June fifteenth. August 10th, October 26th, September 16th. Ooh. That'll be heck of good. Oh, my God. I got to find Cash an outfit. Oh, my it's God. A little costume. That's going to be cute. I'm going to take a little picture. Oh, <laughs> me and my little Cash body. Oh, that's funny. And then Melo could dress up with Dre. Because hmm. that's his homeboy. Yeah. Have you seen Melo, the big dog? Yeah, he's that's so the one cute. when when I was leaving your house, he ran outside. Oh. And we was trying to chase him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come back in the house. He's heck of bad. Oh my god, he's he so cute. Though. Sometimes I'd be like just staring at him because his little cute face. I'd be like, "You so cute." I want a dog so bad. I want a York girl. No, you don't. Oh, okay, yeah, Yorkie. Yeah, that's and cool. I don't want a girl dog because no, <laughs> dude, bruh. I don't know why I didn't know this because like obviously they have babies. But I didn't know that they really be having, like, periods. And That's you have to, like, one. you really got to, like, put a pad on them and stuff, like, or a diaper. I'm like, That's like crazy. My auntie got a Yorkie that I grew up with. She got it, like, two months before I was born. And it's still alive. 
and she don't got no teeth. <laughs> and she peed on my mama floor when they came over for Thanksgiving. Oh, she heck a, oh, why you doing that to Old that dog? lady. <laughs> yeah, my auntie she can't it. hold her bow. I don't get is it live or says she put it from her thumb. No, oh, I'm no, not no, finished on that. her cornrow on my actual hair. <laughs> Dragging me Cash cellmate because Cash bullied him. <laughs> yeah, that would be heck of good. I love and then I can take a picture of, of Cash because like Cash be doing this. He'd be like... I could get him like growling at Dre, oh and I'll be like, I'll be like, Cash one at the top bunk. <laughs> Wait, that's funny. Oh, he was the top bunk. <laughs> I got two pits. I don't know what I want to dress them up as. They tear up everything. Well, I had a pit bull. We Dang, tried to put her up. on a fur coat. She snatched it off. She was turning around biting at it. <laughs> Wait, didn't y'all get y'all pit bull stolen or something? No, nah, she died. Oh damn, that's my bad. <laughs> It's Wait, I thought she said no. The other one, the son. One of them got two. kidnapped. Yeah, the son. Okay, yeah. so one of them did. Yep, one of them got stolen. So why you gonna say no? Nah, she died. <laughs> oh, cause I was talking about the girl. My bad. But yeah, she um she died. How she died? Y'all had to put her down. No, we came in the backyard and she was just like stiff on the floor, like CJ so cool's dog. <laughs> Wait, I ain't seen his dog. But yeah, she like she won't wake up. Oh my god, I would be devastated. Did you cry? Yes, I cried. And my auntie dog just died because I had that dog since I was five. She died when I was like 13. I used to ride in a car with that dog. It used to drop me off at school. I was in love Not with that the dog. dog. Used to drop me. Why you say it used to drop me off at school like the I mean, dog had his L? Used to, she used to ride with me to school. I had two pet turtles. My husband said, I need one more so they'll have the same name as the Ninja Turtles. Make it two because it's. Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, and Donatello. Not you knowing, okay. Oh my God. Oh, you, you got brothers. Ninja Turtles, yep. Some of those dissection in raids, yeah, it is. Cash will be taking Jerry Clean commissary. Cash, no, he for sure would. <laughs> oh, I don't even. Wait, what does commissary mean? It's like the food you get when you're in prison. Like, it's called commissary. You could order, like, chips. That school lunch be looking like Stuff jail like food. The what? My school lunch be looking like jail food. <laughs> I do not eat that. I just buy food at the school. Did you ever used to watch that show, Beyond Scared Straight? When they be the parents call the police on them because they don't know what else to do with them and the police yell at them and stuff. And be they take to, them to jail and like you spend a day in there and trying to make them watch the draws <laughs> and all that. But some of them be arguing back with the people. That them be the good ones. I don't like when they just do what they say because be they be heck of bad, bro. They be like, my name is Jeremiah. I'm 15 and I run away from home, slap my mama, and I don't go to school. They, it's like they be hella bad, bro. Why you can't even go to school? That's the least you could do. No. Yes, I watched that show. Beyond Scare Straight, so ghetto. Now I gotta watch it. I ain't watched that in so long. Or the Boondocks. Oh, the Boondocks. You used to watch the Boondocks? My dad used to watch it when I was little, so I just used to watch it. Oh. Then they stopped me from watching it because I was being bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I watched that show. Mm-hmm. I used to always watch that. The Boondocks mm-hmm. or. Uh, what was we just talking about? I just got blank minded. I don't know. Y'all thought I was gonna have to use this whole can, but I didn't. I used probably like half of it. I know y'all can't see. But I thought I was gonna have to use this whole can. Okay. What? I don't know, but they crying and laughing at you. Uh, <laughs> what I do? I don't even say nothing. I don't know, but they laughing. Yes, Beyonce scared <laughs> straight. What the? Beyonce scared straight. I was I was gonna tell Bobby yesterday. I'm like, you know, Bobby. Yeah, I used to cheer for the Cowboys with Bobby. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I was gonna tell her I'm gonna take her ass to Beyonce scared straight. She hella bad. You <laughs> be seeing her live? No, I always see her live, but she was bad when I used to cheer with her. Her brother, my cousin, one time she slapped this little boy and he still ended up paying for her snacks at the snack bar. I'm like, oh, no. you just go let her slap you and you bought her snacks, bro. You simping. <laughs> I can't wait to use my edge control. Just got it yesterday. Yes. They have the same attitude like the kids on Mari. I remember this one girl was on Mars. She was like, she was 12 years old. She was pregnant. And she was cussing her mama out. Mm-mm. That's scared of her. Mom's like 12. She pinned the link for her air control at the top of these chats. Do y'all watch my strange addiction? Ooh, this girl, her man had to break up with her because she can't go to sleep without the blow dryer being on. What happened? 
They said, do you watch My Strange Addiction on My Strange Addiction? Bruh, that should be ugh. This one lady talking about she eat bricks. Like, <laughs> she eat the stuff off the bricks. The lady bricks. who ate freaking... Look, the lady who took the cake on, on that show was the one who liked to suck on dirty diapers. Oh, oh yes, and she come over to her friend's house to get her baby's diaper. <laughs> yes, that was so nasty. And then that other dude, he ate cat hair. And I watched this other show. TLC got all the weird shows. But anyway, this girl, she was like, she's in love with a roller coaster, and they married and all that. And what? then my sister was watching this other show called Hoarders. It's on YouTube. I think it's on USC or something like that. Mm-hmm. I used to watch Hoarders. It was cleaning out the sister house, and they had a rock. And she's like, I'm going to throw it. She's like, no, you're not. She threw the rock. She was like, I had plans for that rock. <laughs> <laughs> girl, what you going to do with that rock? Send it to college. Bruh, that'd be killing me when they be having, like, boxes and stuff, and they be like, Ready to throw it away, and they're like, "No, no, no!" Like, <laughs> trying to one, fight for it, bro. This one lady, they had to stop filming because she was screaming. She was like, "No, no, don't touch that!" I'm like, "Bro." And then this one lady, they found like three dead cats in her house under all her garbage. Oh, I think I seen that one. And the cats was stiff, bro. This nasty. one lady, her garbage was piled up so high that you had to like crawl on top of it, bro. That's that's sick. Like, where's the roaches? But the, the thing rats? is, is like. Like, I be feeling bad for the hoarders because they have, like, mental issues, you know? Yeah. Like, so I be feeling bad for them, but it be so... Bruh, the food in the fridge that be expired, and then they be eating on... T- Ooh. <laughs> and then the more groceries they bring in the house, the more trash is gonna be left in there. Mm-hmm. So they can't even live in there they sell. I think, like, all the episodes, like, free on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched them. I'm gonna start watching it. I'm about to start reacting to those. <laughs> That'll be funny. <laughs> Do you have clients? Bruh, when they, be showing, clients? when they be showing the rats, like, scurry across the screen, I'll be like, ugh, bruh. Because I seen this, the last one I seen, um, this lady had, like, a rat infestation, and her neighbors called in, and basically the city was going to, like, take her house away or something, because it was, like, infest, like, oh my god, it was so disgusting, bruh. Mm-mm. It was so disgusting. Somebody said how nasty the bathrooms be. Mm. Bruh, one of them, the toilet didn't even work, bro. I'm like, Ugh. That's, oh my god, is she using the that water? Had, yes, the water had been like shut off for hella long. Oh, oh god, they be having like bottles of pee and feces, and oh my god, how one do you not them, get sick breathing that in? Because, bruh, one of them had like a like the sewage or something had like leaked and broke, and so they had like feces that had like flooded all over the house the oh my mm. god just no just thinking about it like how are you living in that that's what i'm saying they they be having like mental issues let's talk about how nasty the fridges be oh my god i follow this guy on tiktok he clean hoarder's house how nasty they refrigerators and kitchens and bathrooms it really be the kitchen and the bathroom like that's mm. nasty Maybe the roaches, the rat droppings. Mm-hmm. See, that's the one I'm talking about. She said, I seen an episode of Hoarders where the lady had dead cats everywhere. I think I seen that one, too. Like, how you don't smell dead animals Bruh, in the house? Did you see the one animals? where they found the dead dog? The dog was behind, like, the piano or something like that, and they pulled it out, and the dog was, like, stiff. <laughs> no. Bruh, it was not even funny. I was actually that's hella mad. Sad, because, or was that the cat didn't... one? Was that the cat? I don't know, but did nobody know that animal was dead? They couldn't find... I mean, it might have been a cat. They couldn't find the animal for hella long. They were like, oh, we just stopped seeing her around. And they couldn't find the animal. And then they found it. Bruh, I was really That's like... disgusting. Somebody said, watch Extreme Cheap Steaks. This woman cooked her lasagna in a dishwasher. <gasps> I'm hella good. I heard about that. Because those are the people who be like, like they, they have one light bulb for the whole house. And they be trying to feed their family like 25 like $2, $5. <laughs> Did you see that one where the lady That's had impressive. to farm animals? And, but cook it up. <laughs> Wait, my thing, okay, for the cheapskates, i never seen that show. But like, are these people like, like, do they have hella money because they save hella money? Or are they hella broke? You know well, what I'm saying? One of them, I seen, she, her stove was dirty. Her kitchen was little. She was broke. But <laughs> she, she broke, but she ain't broke to what she can't go get no groceries. Like, they had on Jordans and stuff, and she over here feeding her and her three kids for five dollars. Not her. And it, it, it's not McDonald's dollar menu. It's cooking. Trying to enjoy my food. <laughs> like my food. Not eating only canned food. Exactly, like you said, they try to save. They be having money. Just nasty. Like, what's the difference between using a stove and a dishwasher? Because the dishwasher, you using your water bill. 
and the stove you using. I'm trying to figure out how she cooked it in that. Like, how did it get hot enough? You know, dishwasher water be kind of hot. Maybe when she put the lasagna in, like, something. No, it couldn't have been turned on. That holds heat. <laughs> she warmed up a lasagna in the dishwasher. I gotta go find that. I'm hella done. Yeah, what difference does it make? The lady with one light bulb and they had to use one light bulb all over the house. Yeah, they like unscrew it from the bathroom and put it in a... Imagine be like, Mama, let me borrow the light bulb. I gotta pee. He like, what? <laughs> let me borrow the light bulb. They might as well get flashlights. That don't go on your electricity. Well, you have you have daylight. I know, but at night. And if they house junk, do y'all remember the family who takes a bath with the same water? <gasps> Bruh. What is these? What is y'all? Where is y'all finding this at? That is nasty. That's not even clean. Nope. Yourself. When I leave home, I would go straight to Twenty Four Hour Fitness. I would give me a gym membership. Like, oh, mama, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work <laughs> no, out. I'm going to shower. Yeah, you can shower at Twenty Four Hour Fitness. Yeah. Gyms have a what's it called? Say the heat from it cooked it. The heat from the uh, dishwasher cooked the lasagna. That's come on. I'm not about to live like this, bruh. Or the one who floss with... Okay, this is getting out of hand. I'm finna stop reading them. Someone what said they, they floss with a strand of hair. How, <laughs> ain't they gonna break? <laughs> ain't they gonna break? They probably use, like, multiple Nothing strands. Nothing buying a pack of... No, they use a pack of Koneko on braiding hair and cut it. Think about if you buy a pack of braiding hair, look how many pieces of floss this is. That's You could sick. cut it hella. Oh my god, what? These these TV shows really do be for entertainment, but all these people do need prayer. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, the lasagna and the bathing in the same water. That's that's enough. Not needing prayer. <laughs> Somebody no, on God, though, because... <laughs> oh my god, do you watch Thousand Pound Sisters? No. Is that the one who they had the TikTok that was going around? No. Uh, and she was like, so. I'm... St- what, what yeah, 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 yeah. I, I pay my bill. Bad. My bills are paid. Yeah, <laughs> yes. She, and then she gonna the big fat one that's like seven hundred pounds. She gonna yell at her sister, tell her to shut the f up. She's like, "How about you get off that oxygen and make me shut the f up?" She's like, "I will." I'm like, "Girl, I wanna see you get up." <laughs> <laughs> she literally walked that's around with a funny. oxygen. That's hella mean. No, like her siblings. Look, her and her sister was on a journey together. Her sister got her surgery two years ago when they started. Her brother joined after them. He getting his surgery this season. She just big. She don't want to lose weight. She get with men who have this attraction and fetish for big women, and they can't push her in a wheelchair. Her boyfriend was so skinny, her brother-in-law got to push her in a wheelchair, even with her boyfriend there. And say, do you have a video of her? Because she can't even walk? No, she can't. She get on her walker. They be like, okay, go walk to the mailbox. She, she passing out. Go get my chair. Passing out? <laughs> She be all breathing hard, turning red. I'm like, ooh, girl. That's not healthy, bruh. It said, yes, the season on one episode where they were trying to push the fat sister up the hill to go to the doctor. Yes, and a brother. Push her up the hill? (laughs) From wheelchair. And her brother was pushing her, and the shoe fell off, and she was, so she don't roll back. She gonna tell her pregnant sister, get behind me. She said, if I get behind you, you can roll back, hurt me and my child. (laughs) No, for real, you see that? (laughs) It's not funny though, but it's like you see the Chiefs they on the woman buying used underwear from the thrift store. <laughs> Why are you dying laughing, bro? I pay that's my bills. My bills are paid. Used underwear. That's just like I pay my bills. My bills are paid. Sick. That's Did sick. you see the wheelchair roll back on him? Yes, I know. <laughs> Why do I not, I not be seeing this? And all her boyfriends leave her. And her brother be trying to tell her. She just, uh-uh. And then she's like, yes, we made love. <laughs> he, he like, mind you, he like 125. She's 700 pounds. Uh-uh. That don't mean he can't make love to her. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the stuff, and she just, um, he cooked a big old, like, meatloaf. And the brother, like, he cooked that big old meatloaf just for y'all, too. And she's like, that don't mean I ate it all. He was like, you got a food addiction. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Somebody said that's gonna be funny. I don't care. I'm being a front center. Yeah, she did have. Did you see the one on Six Hundred Pound Life? So where the young lady had maggots under her folds. That's hella nasty. Under her folds, like her her stomach. rolls. <laughs> no. Bro, what are you? 
I watched Six Hundred Pound Life. I ain't never seen that one. I seen one. The lady was not losing weight. He was like, "How you gonna tell me gaining twenty five pounds is water weight?" She like, "Cause it is." And God go <laughs> deliver me from this weight. He said, "So you think if you jump off this building, God gonna stick his big hand out and save you?" Yes, he will. I'm like, oh, oh you God. must you watch the show. Watch the show. <laughs> yes. Was that guy who cussed her out and told her that she's the reason his <laughs> shoe came off? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Six hundred. So how do they be getting this big? Like, do they just be like just, big all day? Let me tell you, no. They always do a backstory. Um, my dad and my parents argued a lot when I was little, so I turned to food. Oh, like, girl, so they be having like no, but some of them be doing too much. Some people like, do do that, like like it's called like stress eating. And then this, she's, she's talking about she going to get mad at her mom because she put a lock on the refrigerator when she was 200 pounds at nine. I would, what? <laughs> I would put a lock on the refrigerator, too. Because what? That's heck of great. That's heck of Somebody said the lady died, too, shaking my head. <gasps> she wait, died? That was on a show? The video, I see one episode where the doctor told me she needs to take a bath because he, she smells so bad. <laughs> People will Going up in the lobby. <laughs> what? <laughs> this one girl had her boyfriend sneaking pizza in the hospital room when she's supposed to begin her surgery. It's like, I don't know. Why is it froze? Bri is froze. Oh, I paused it. <laughs> you stupid. Talking about Bri is froze. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. I paused it. It said like, y'all are sick for talking. Because you about having too much fun. Nonsense. Right. That that was um that was God showing himself on your phone. He said, stop laughing at these people for that be you. Oh my god! And like, I don't just know. Then people they be like, "Oh, we keep giving her food because we don't want her to get mad at me." Like, what is that gonna do if they get mad at you? None of them is getting up. One lady cooked chicken in her bed. What? <laughs> With she, what? She had a portable fryer. She had a portable fryer, or sometimes she season it and take it to the stove for her son to cook it. And she hid a piece of chicken under the cover. She'd be paying one day. piece. <laughs> No, because she already got a plate, but she hit, like it already got like four pieces on it. So she, <laughs> so she hit an extra piece on top of a heck of spaghetti and salad, and then she she paid a neighbor on a daily to bring her lunch, and then her husband get off, well her boyfriend get off like thirty minutes later, and she lied to him like she didn't eat lunch. She what the, the hell? <laughs> How do they fit that much food, bro? Like I would be sick. <laughs> And then when the sister was throwing away the sister garbage and they supposed to be on a diet, she found a whole bunch of candy wrappers. And she was like, you must have ordered this. And your boyfriend brought this because I do your grocery shopping. Yes, I love that show. I've seen every episode. I'm going to have to watch it because y'all making it sound hyper like funny. But, like, is it funny or, like, y'all just being no. cruel and laughing? No, it's it's funny. This one lady, she fell, like, <laughs> she, <laughs> she bounced. No, because these people be talking, like, they talk smart to everybody around them trying to help them and they disrespectful. Like, oh, so that's what makes it funny because it's like, they're not like nice stuff people. Happen to them. And they be forcing <laughs> them to oh, eat healthy and all that. They be like crying. Like, I don't want to eat that. Because like, you got to, in order to get the surgery, you have to lose weight, right? They're not just going to do it. Yes, and then the one sister on 1,000 pound sisters, the 700 pound one, she go to the dentist. And uh-uh, she, not with my, y'all can see my neck uh, kink of bugs. Look at that. You trying to be nice, sis. <laughs> oh my god. They uh she said she was she ain't been to the dentist in heck of years because her weight too big for the dentist chair. She gets to the dentist, they're like, Oh, you got a whole bunch of cavities, you need a root canal. They're like, how often do you brush your teeth? She said, I try <laughs> at least twice a week. That's hella nasty, bro. <laughs> at least. And she got this man all kissing on her and stuff. You don't know that breath. <laughs> Twice a week? Not is it because she can't make it to the bathroom? She said she tried. She knows she could have somebody bring her toothbrush and toothpaste to her. Her sister lived right next to her. That's hella nasty. What? It said, did y'all see the episode of Thousand Pound Family where the brother and sister went to go get ten boxes of pizza? <laughs> they ate five boxes on the way back to the house. LOL. Yes, I've seen that. But then at the end, they all lost weight. That's hella sick, bro. <laughs> Wait, so do you ever get to see, like, any of them actually lose the weight and, like, get skinny? Uh-huh. So they do but, like, you see them skinny? They don't be skinny, but they be, like, 200 pounds. They do episodes of where they are now. They be, like, 250, 300. Damn. Have it. How much did they start at? <laughs> Two, I remember one time. Bro, 250, 300. These siblings. I'm 180, and I feel like 
Cause I feel like a horse. I, know, I feel like a horse too, but like they feel good for that. Cause like these siblings was on there. The sister, she gained 25 pounds. The brother was only like 500 pounds. The sister stepped on the scale. It was like 800. And the brother was like, damn. And like the, <laughs> the sister was crying about it. Cause she said her brother made her feel bad. <laughs> 800 pounds, bro? Like, that's like, like late 700s. Bro, that's like four of me. That's hella big. <laughs> How do they get inside of like? They don't. They stay at home and they stink. And then the sister, <laughs> she, they stink. she gained 50 pounds in one month. And when her brother started cussing her out, she was just like, well, I've been eating healthy. How you eat a healthy, you gain 50 pounds in 30 days. Like, you're not doing nothing. Do they work out? She she was doing a little arm exercise and they was trying to dance. And she said, oh, I can't do this. And got back on her walker <laughs> I feel like I would at least just try to work out. Exactly. I said, it's funny. They are stubborn. A lot of them act like kids. Have you seen that one where the man orders all that stuff from the ice cream truck? What? I, if you, they say you can refuse service to some people. If I see you like 700 pounds at my ice cream truck, I'm refusing service. No, that's discrimination. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. That's discrimination. That's, you can get like, canceled for that. That's like helping kill them. Like, here, have another ice cream. No. So you, so Maybe they don't get to, en- they don't get to enjoy the, they don't even get to enjoy your ice cream. They've chugging. enjoyed enough for a lifetime. <laughs> that big. I'm so serious. No, you gotta, you gotta make them run after it. <laughs> like you can order, but you gotta order as I'm driving. So they gotta walk and order. <laughs> the ice cream. Cause it's like that, that way you helping them out. It's like a workout and you know. Yes, I seen that. LOL ordered everything off the ice cream truck. See, he ordering too much, and he used to get credit because he didn't always have the money. LOL. Damn. <laughs> Not lay away on the ice you cream truck after pay. <laughs> Y'all got after pay on an ice cream truck just for him though. Yes, I was just finna say that because he's the most loyal customer. See, I need to get on these episodes. It's obviously I'm missing the funniest ones. No, for real. I need to get on it. I never really watched it. I've seen it before, but... Like, if your sister, like, you living in her house, and she always cuss you out, calling you B-words and all that, even though she your older sister, mind you, they're only a year apart, wouldn't you, like, tell her about herself? Like, the Wait, sister... the fat sister cusses the skinny sister out? The other sister was, like, 400 pounds. She, like, 200 now, but the other sister was, like, 400 pounds, but the fat one is living in her house. The 700 pound one and talking to her all kind of crazy. Like, she was like, Oh, can you give me a soda? She get the soda, sit down. Can you give me cookies? I'm 400 pounds. It's hard for me to keep getting up and down, too. And she's like, Why don't you just say anything when I'm up? Just shut the F up and drop it. What? Girl, you're not gonna talk to me like this in my house. You got my husband pushing you in a wheelchair because you want skinny men. <laughs> like, wait, so she's so heavy that her boyfriends can't even push her? Yes, her boyfriend That's like a hella skinny embarrassing. Stick. <laughs> right. That's hella embarrassing. Like, your brother-in-law, you're not his wife, and he got to push you. Like, do they be embarrassed to go in public? Oh, my God. They should be, but when they went to that buffet, they was eating up. And then they're like, oh, <laughs> we get stairs. It reminds me of On the Clumps with uh, Eddie Murphy when they cleared out the whole buffet, and it was just a salad left. <laughs> and Janet Jackson was the only skinny one. <laughs> Did y'all see that one when he had to take a bath in a mini pool, and he broke it? <laughs> falling through the balcony and the girl was under and started gagging i was dead not the buff <laughs> he drowned his grandma that's not funny i feel so bad for like laughing at this but it's like hella funny but like you know and the mom she like, was like talking so to her daughter and she like i know you be sneaking food and all that she's like don't nobody want no big fat ass daughter and the daughter was like get out mom <laughs> she was mad that's my thing is like you don't get like once you get to a certain way like you never you don't look in the mirror and be like damn i'm getting big like i'll be looking at myself sometimes like no nah, i gotta really you know yeah and I'm how not, do you like, let yourself get 800 pounds bruh they don't it's like honestly it's, i'd be thinking they don't care about their life on a serious note like you know for real uh, I'll be feeling bad for her when she had to sit on the floor in the car and drive to the doctors. Yes, it was bad traffic and they stopped hard and the sister flew into the back of the seat. Wait, like, so it like, is it, is it like one episode per person or how does it work? A uh, 600 pound life, one episode per person. and then, Like it's new people every episode? Yeah. Damn, it's, hella, it's that many. <laughs> and it's more. They be trying to get on TV. Is it? <laughs> the one with the fat girl on 600 pound life fell down the stairs. 
<laughs> man, it's funny because they know they be getting big and don't do nothing about it but keep eating. Did you see the man walk the golf cart? Yes. This boy, <laughs> him and his brother was like 600 pounds. And the dad, they like in their late 20s, early 30s. And the dad driving the RV. One of them is really serious about losing weight. He said they've been driving for 30 minutes. He, the son got two meals. He called his dad again, laying in the bed in the back of the RV because he gave him in the seat. Tell him, Dad, you didn't just stop. He said, what, you got to pee? He told him, no, I'm hungry again. And the dad wouldn't stop for him. He got mad and threw his phone. What the hell? So you be watching this every day? Weekly, yes. I think a new season. New season, Thousand Pound Sisters come on November 15th. And 600 Pound Life, I don't know when they come on. Dang, you really be watching this. Yes, it's set. They come on all the time. I don't miss it. I record it. Did you see the 600 Pound Twins? Yeah, the Asante brothers. Ain't that one of them who fell off the golf cart and the other one threw his phone? Keep my head. I'm just, I'm just shocked that you really be watching this. Like, you know every episode. It's so entertaining. It's like... You can't not watch it. But it's crazy because, like, when I'm watching it, I'm all sitting down, ordering my DoorDash and eating it. And I'm just like, ooh, they so big. And I'm sitting down watching fat people and eat. My thing is... You, the, so you on your way. Yeah. Why like you talk about my them. My family be trying to say they're getting manipulated into feeding them. Man, what the F they gonna do to me? Chase me? I'm not giving them no Big Mac. Exactly. Are you going to chase me? No. Oh, like, because they be mad at the family members for actually giving it to them? Yes. They got to bring the dinner table to one of the ladies. And then it was a big old birthday cake for her son. And she cut like one fourth for the cake <laughs> for herself. So, ooh, I'm going to enjoy this tonight. And her mom was like, girl, you know you don't need all that. <laughs> girl, watch it too. Girl, I watch that to a certain extent. That's cool here, right? Oh, my gosh. You know, I got to go home and watch the season over again. No, I got to go home and watch it. <laughs> And, like, they just, I don't know, some of them, they be going to the airport, and when they get turned around, they be buying two tickets, and they 700 pounds, and they short, so they wide. And then when they get turned around because they need three tickets, they be oh, crying. Yeah, how can they fly? <laughs> A lot of them, I don't feel bad for. Some I do because they but, actually really try. But my thing is, like, how, how can they fly? Like, they can't fit in between. You know how the seats, oh, you can lift the things up, but they can't fit in between the What's seats. Well, yeah, but, like, they can't even, like, get in the rolls in the plane. They can't walk through those. They can't fit in the plane bathroom. So, like, they, they be buying tickets, and they're like, oh, I wasted my money. I want a refund. Girl, you knew you was big, and he knew, too. Oh. Like, uh uh-uh. So they can only drive? <laughs> yep, and that's why. They, and then they be so big, you always got a heads of an SUV when you drive with a 600-pound person. That's why they be random, because you got to lay all the back seats down, put up an air mattress, and let them sit on that. Sometimes the mattress pop, they got to sit on the floor. <laughs> Not pop, but it'd be like all thin and stuff. It'd be so ghetto on there. Somebody said they gotta drive exactly, and they'd be like, I don't know if she's gonna do good in these car rides. She might get a blood clot. So you can't drive, you can't fly, you might as well stay at home and bring the doctor to you. Y'all, look, this is. Feel that edge control. Ooh. That's that crazy, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Really, I'll be using, um, what is that? That one edge control? We have my edges white, though. What? It's um Murray's Edge. Oh, you use this one, huh? Yep. Yeah. Maybe have my edges like I think I put too much. <laughs> it's in the van. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the edge control is amazing. I need that edge control. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, what that comment say? Mm-mm-mm. Say that lady that sing on RG when she was on Six Hundred Pound Life, wasn't she paying the neighbor kid to get her food? Yes, and fry her food in the middle of the living room. That's who I'm talking about. Was frying the food on her bed. Who? The I black lady. Her bed. Her bed was oh, the, 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 the lady was black. Yes, her name was Shanta. She be on Instagram singing and stuff. She can sing. No. Is. <laughs> <laughs> people be paying her like fifty dollars to sing Happy Anniversary to people. So she be trying to sing. Yeah. Mama, where you at? Okay, you can come now. And it okay, bye. But um yes, it's like bad. Sorry, she be singing about all kind of crazy stuff. Jamie Lynn Spears claims her parents pressured her to get oh an abortion? Yes, when she was pregnant at sixteen. You don't gotta sign in papers if you don't want to, but I mean her parents crazy though. You seen what they did to Brittany. Yeah. 
This one I feel good. Mm. That's her? Yes. What's her song? <laughs> She got 1,658 posts. What, how many followers she got? Um, 63,000. What the hell? She got 63,000. What the hell? <laughs> she be seeing birthday. You think people get big just so they can go on a show? <laughs> I would hope not, but somebody probably. But I would rather do something weird like be on my strange addiction and go on my 600 pound life. Like, what would your strange addiction be? Oh, Queen looks so pretty. She's been looking super cute lately. She do. I like, heck of pretty. Strange addiction. I think I do. I just got to think about it. Oh, I like the uh, smell of vacuums, gas. Um, oh, you like permanent markers, stuff like that? Yes. Or like, I'm somebody, every time I open the glue, I got to smell it. Like, in school, when we used to do projects, I'd be sitting there smelling the glue the whole time. Like, stuff like that, but... Weird, uh, just kidding. Help us. That ain't that weird. That's not weird enough to go on the show. You gotta do something crazy. Yeah, it's like that girl eating cat hair, shaming to get cats bald. Or like eating the dirt from underneath their fingernails. Oh my, somebody does that? No, I just made that up. I was just thinking, hey, of, I was just thinking does. of something hella nasty that I haven't seen on there before. I know, but I know somebody in this world, dude, and that's sick. <laughs> Oh my that God. we just ain't discovered them yet. Yes. <laughs> like, and the lady, she was like, oh, yes, I'm in an intimate relationship with this roller coaster. What? And she was all rubbing it and stuff. The name is Bruce. Look, yes. Yeah, lady in love with Carnival Ride. And then one lady was making out with a car. I'm <laughs> like, the dirt on that car. <sighs> Alright, so y'all, so I'm gonna link my edge control in the description section. I literally just did the whole style with it. Honestly, I just wanted to see if um it was gonna understand the assignment, and it did. So I used that. Um, oops, I'm sorry, y'all. My ring light is broke. Y'all know this. To finish it, I used Got to Be Glue Free Spray, and I used the Bronner Brothers Foam Wrap Lotion. This is my favorite mousse. And for the oil, um, there's a stylist in here whose cousin makes this. But it's called Rooted and Revive Calm and Cool Scalp Therapy Oil. It has lavender and tea tree. And I really like this oil. So I've been using this one. I use different oils on my clients. I usually use wild hair growth. But I noticed like on some of my clients, it makes their hair itch. So I kind of stopped using it. Because like don't nobody want to get their braids done and then your hair itching the next day. Yeah. You know? I'll see Tingo's He pays for dinner with change. Like literal change. Look at this That's my strange addiction. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's so it's disgusting. It's you kissing the car for me. <laughs> that's disgusting. Disgusting. For her hair color, I used a, a 1B, a 4, and a 27. You wearing the hell out of, and this played out. You wearing the hell out, and this played out. The only one saying it now are the late ones here. Yeah, for the first time. You're wearing the hell out. What does that mean? I don't know. What happens? That happens with shine that with shine and jam. Oh, your hair start itching. I haven't used shine and jam in a while, y'all. Ever since I tried new stuff, I just kind of stopped using it. But I bought the new shine and jam edge controls because I just wanted to try them out. I'm gonna do a video on them. I don't know if y'all seen them before. They're like little small ones, little small bottles. Cause I like doing like I like doing product reviews. Raw growth oil will do that to your hair and make it itch. Yeah, that's why I stopped using it. I've just been trying different stuff. But you could use all different types of hair oils. I saw one with someone smelling dirty diapers. I have a newborn. I love the clean smell of diapers. Yeah, we just smelling clean diapers. Happy birthday. You got the rest of that. That's why I'm not using it. Really? Uh-huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Watch your sister try it too. Share. Sharing is caring. The thing is, she'll, she keep all her hair products in her backpack. Like a purse, like in a purse, she keep it in there. He trying to say the word hella is played out with everybody. Hella is a California word. Oh, he's saying hella. 
Are we saying hella? I don't know. It's probably not from California though, because everybody says that. Yeah, and I don't even know. It's. it's Can we get a price list? Language. A price list for my edge control is twelve. This oil that I'm using, I believe this bottle is twelve. The Browner Brothers foam is six ninety nine, and so is the Got to Be Glued. I think the Got to Be Glued is eight ninety nine. Ooh. Panda, do more streams when you do hair so we can chat with you. For sure. Y'all like to see me on live, huh? Um, Today was a quickie. Sometimes I'm just tired, y'all. Like, y'all gotta remember when I do like five or six clients, it just be a lot, you know? It looks like I got on a do rag. <laughs> but I'll try to go live with y'all more when I have my cool clients. Oh, Oh, do you have your own hair growth oil? Um, I'm coming out with it. It's not here yet, though. All my stuff is being shipped right now. It's in the works. In the works. I'm dropping a whole line, though, so y'all gonna get a little bit of art thing. That's good. What's the patient? What? Right. Keep the live. Everybody is, like, recommending that you, like, go live all the time. Really? Yes. I'm just like, uh, hey. Y'all, I'd be so tired, but maybe I could go live for my first client when I'm not dying. Or sometimes I'll be thinking, like, I don't be wanting to go live because I'm like, people in school, you know? Oh, you mean the styles. Where to get the oil? Well, I don't really be charging people. I only charge her $40 because, like, I know her. <laughs> That's why y'all be asking me how much I charge. I don't barely charge nobody no more because all my clients are, like, people I've known for hella long. Like, I don't really charge them. Regular price. But I have a, um, if y'all go to my Instagram, you can see all my prices. I have a whole price list. It said, thanks for the edge control. It's the best. Thank you. Nah, baby. I'm I might need another like your lives. Oh, I'm going to like your lives. <laughs> or what? They like your lives. Okay. Is that Jasmine? I like that name. I don't know how to say it. will be back. I do online. Who's your favorite? Who y'all want me to go live with next? Who should I book next? Who y'all want for my next appointment? Let's do that. Let's do Barbie again. Again? Yeah. I just did her hair yesterday. Somebody said Panda looking thick. <laughs> you see me. <laughs> Don't do it. The edge control. I gotta get my hair something. Don't Any, do it. They say go live with anybody that's funny like you. Period. That's all my clients. Period. Yeah, I feel like all my clients is crazy and funny. Yeah, somebody just said who Bobby. Bobby. Again? Bobby. And yeah, somebody said me. Bobby's out of town, so Imani. who's y'all back up? You yeah. know, Imani, Imani, Imani yeah. need her hair done. <laughs> so, yeah, she might be next. You should have seen me this whole month. I was looking for her. Why you didn't hit me? Your mom didn't know I was out here. She texted me talking about, are you back from L.A.? I was like, girl, I've been back. See, I was just looking to get a cool. Either Bobby you could have been had your hair done. I could do Brie. The Trickets. What's the that? Trickets. That's China and Imani. Trickets. Start featuring out of state clients. Oh, uh, y'all trying to get appointments. That's what y'all trying to do. The girl that goes to college in New Orleans. You said Bobby Mama. <laughs> I could get. Oh, Keisha. Keisha. Ain't that Yanni's sister? Yeah, that's Yanni's oh, sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought I was the only one from the hospital. Well, you do better. Well, you better do Bobby Virtual. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Mama. Okay, I could do Bobby Mama here. Who is the girl sitting there now? Like her, she cool. Hey girl, hey. Mm. Oh, they said they like you. This is Kimaye. What about the girl with the big four C hair with the baby? Oh, I did her hair yesterday. That's the one who I use my edge control on. I just I didn't do her hair on live though because why didn't I go live? <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I'm sorry. She only got two braids though. Oh well, two braids is like a bad. Yeah, it would it would have been quickie, but somebody said Keisha is so funny. I recorded it though, so if y'all want me to drop that video, because I wanted y'all to show that my I wanted to show y'all that my edge control works on four C here. Oh my god, you talking about my name? Thank you. What your name is? Cute? is pretty and unique. It's different, Kimaya. Everybody asks, is it inspired by something? <laughs> we was learning about the Native American Kumaya tribe in fourth grade. People used to call me that, and I was so sensitive about it. <laughs> I feel like I probably asked you that, huh? Yeah. What I don't know, did you? All your, all your siblings' names start with K's, though, right? Yeah, because my daddy didn't start with a K. What's the price that's on Instagram? I don't see it. 
Um, if you go to book now, it should be on my page. It says book now. You can literally see all my pricing. I'm actually cheap. Like, I'm, like, really cheap in my area. But, um, if you hit book now, you can see. This is all we want here. Breathe a trick into Keisha. Everybody loves a uh, Keisha. Keisha? She hella funny. <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen her since she was, like, my age. She's, she's in New Orleans right now, but... Oh. I might be able to fly her out. She'll come out. Bobby was a whole vibe last night. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby is crazy. Else. I love Bobby. Trying to be, girl, you know her dad passed away. Yeah, I know. Oh, you knew that? Yeah, my mom had to, you know my mom works, had to do with the funeral. Oh, yeah, yo, I forget your mom works at. Uh, We're in California. His funeral was today. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, that's why, honestly, that's why Bobby wasn't on my channel for a minute and because she was going through that and y'all kept asking me, but I didn't want to tell her business. But yesterday she was like, oh, she was like, girl, everybody know, but I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to be on here and be like, Bobby's not here. I just said she's going through okay. something. Somebody said fly me out. Not fly me out. Yeah, Brie, she funny. Yeah. Brie is hella funny. I might be able to do her hair tomorrow. She wants some box braids. Maybe I have to slide bring in. I gotta join the live more though. What the hell? Yes, period. What you be doing? Y'all, I'm so happy I'm about to be. I'm leaving this live. You remember that in the live room? Yeah. We had like a battle. Tumbling? Like, what? <laughs> you got tumbling on the line. That's funny. Yeah. I saw the video where you flew the stylus out mad dope. Yeah, that was my birthday, and I needed my hair done. Your hair was cute, too, on your birthday. I seen it. Thank you. And now she popping. She hella popping on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Not because of like me, just because like she been doing heck of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like heck of creative type of braids. Oh my gosh, y'all complimenting my hair. Thank you. <laughs> She's stupid. <laughs> Hold on, what'd she say? Okay, one second. Sorry, y'all, the heck of oil. It's all dripping. It's all dripping. I started putting my oil on before I'm I do my stuff. I'm, I'm finna get off live and use the bathroom. I'll be on my way. Bye. Why she ain't join the live? Hold on, let me show them your hair. Your mama? Yes. She be on uh, YouTube? No, she don't. But she should have got a notification because I put post notifications on. Y'all, she didn't want um, she didn't want no crazy baby hair. She said just swoop it in. You don't see no. Why you don't know how to do now. your baby hairs? Or why you didn't want that? I don't know. I just hold on. Why is they calling me? Mm -hmm. Hi, Jackie. Can I, can I um call you when I get home? Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Not you hanging up. Group chats be messy. On friend, friend. Oh, they just be wanting to talk to me. I'm cute with forehead chat. Oh, my God. See, I just want to say that. It's okay, though. What? My forehead be. I know. Why you? That's why you should let me do some baby hairs. But it's okay. It's cute. Don't let them do that to you. Oh, no, I'm not mad. Like, that's something, like, I know. Like, now, if they're like, oh, you fat, then I'll be like, ah. <laughs> but if they just tell me my forehead big, it's not big. Nothing will call you fat after mm -hmm. you just talked about my 600 pound life. Okay. You're going to get right out after you. Is it okay. dusted? Huh? Is it dusted? Oh my God. Okay. Thank you again. You're welcome, boo. Okay. I'm just going to sign it, Dan, as always. You got like Here the best is. fan base. They're hella nice, They're huh? They're really sweet. Yeah, I haven't, like, I seen, like, one negative comment, and then she gone. So. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to that. All right. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, I will definitely try to go live more often. I've just been really tired. I've been trying to get home, but um, maybe I'll try to go tomorrow. I'll try to get Bree in here. Um, but if not, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me show y'all. I actually recorded... Um, I recorded doing her hair yesterday. I did two feeding braids on her. This is Zamadra, the client.
that has the 4C here with the two babies. I just wanted to show y'all that my edge control works. So I actually recorded her, so I probably will go home and edit that video. And if you're on my membership, I'll try to drop it for y'all tonight. And then the rest of y'all can get it maybe tomorrow or Sunday. <sighs> so, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much.